Hello and welcome to the Saviors of Old Doom Carterville live stream. My name is Chris and I'm a community manager here on the Hearthstone team. Uh, I'm joined by these two fine gentlemen. You know them, you love them. We've got Brian Kibler, content creator extraordinaire and Hearthstone game designer, Peter Whalen. Gentlemen, it's a good day. It's Carterville live stream day. How we doing? Uh, I'm doing great. I, you know, I'm super excited to see what we have uh, you know, to, to reveal today. I've been you know, following along with all the reveals as the season has gone on, and I am absolutely stoked for so many of the things that, uh, that are going to be coming out in this set. It's going to be good. There's a lot of really great stuff. I'm very excited to do this live stream. I think we have more cards to reveal for this than we've done for any of these final live streams before. This is true. We definitely have more than the final card of your live stream for Rise of Shadows, so fun fact for you all. <laughs> that, that's the important thing. That is the important thing, right? Do better than last time. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. We always got to do better. Uh, so and Brian, we've got thanks some so good much stuff for too. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Yes, we do. Brian, thank you so much for joining us, man. Absolutely. Yet again, it's going to be good. So folks at home, we've got 29 29, yes, you heard it, 29 brand new cards to unveil today across four matchups. Uh, our good friend Chalky is waiting on the other side. Uh, last time he got 3 one by Brian Kibler. I went through the VOD and triple checked to make sure I had my facts straight. <laughs> All right, um, so we need four this time. Yeah. Yeah, that's, we're going to go, are All we right. going Better than last time. Got, yeah, that's, exactly. That's, that was that's, what we tried to do. That's our theme. Better <laughs> than last time. That is the theme. Saviors of Old Doom, better than last time. So we're going to win this one. But is this better than the last time we saw the League of Explorers? Because I, I did want to talk a little bit about just let's, the set overall, let's right? Talk because, about you know, I think that, that coming from Rise of Shadows, we have this, like, evil league rising up, and now, you know, why is it that we have the League of Explorers coming back as sort of their nemesis? Right, so you've got the evil league. Mm -hmm. Now you need good guys. We've already set up uh, bad guys. We need some somebody to stop them. And so we already have this great group of Hearthstone good guys, mm -hmm. the League of Explorers, that we set up a couple of years ago in the adventure, the League of Explorers, and now they're coming back to save the day. So from a sort of design perspective, you know, we, we have all of the, the various explorers coming back, and all of them are using the kind of singleton mechanic that people used to call the Reno mechanic. Yep. <laughs> uh, that you build your deck in a certain way and you get this special effect. What was sort of the decision-making process to bring the League back in that way? A lot of the most memorable things from the League of Explorers was the Reno mechanic, that singleton type of deck where if your deck has no duplicates, you get this enormous payout at the end. And so people really loved that deck. They really, really enjoyed it. We played it up again in Mean Streets of Gadget Sand, and so when it was time to bring the League of Explorers back, it made sense to return to that mechanic. Yeah, the the uh, singleton decks, though, you know, Reno-style decks, have always been among my favorite. Yeah. I like playing decks that play out pretty differently from game to game, and uh, when, well, you only have one of any card, certainly leads to that. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I'm curious to see how it's going to fare. I know some people have had uh, various opinions in the community on these new singleton cards. Now, speaking of mechanics, uh, we have another new mechanic, Reborn, uh, showing its head here with Saviors of Old Doom, along with uh, Plagues, which the League of Evil are hoping to unleash on Old Doom. We'll see if they can get those off. Uh, and then we also have the return of Quest, a little bit different this time, uh, but Peter and Brian would love to talk to you a little bit about those mechanics, Reborn, Quest. You know, we already talked about singleton and then also plagues. What are those? Well, reborn, you know, reborn to me just is a, a pretty straightforward, like pretty powerful mechanic, right? Like, it, you know, it, for those who don't know, reborn means when a minion with reborn dies, it comes back with one health. And this both is sort of intrinsically powerful stuff, like the the mummy that was revealed, the the three two rush reborn, which can kind of yep. kill multiple things or one big thing. Right. Um, but personally, I I really like the fact that you know you can have stuff with like there was a, I forget the name of the card the. Resurrect Priest card that brings back a minion gives it reborn. Psychopomp. Psychopomp. How could I forget that? Uh, of course. <laughs> I wonder if but, we'll see that card today. But the, uh, the, the sort of interaction of reborn, not just with, okay, well, this brings it back for one more hit, but like with Priest, you can heal your minion. Absolutely. And with the Priest quest, you need to heal things in order to, to complete your quest, and so reborn plays pretty well with that. So speaking, speaking of quests, we wanted to, I wanted to talk a little bit about how quests are back now and different this time, because mm -hmm. previously when we saw quests for the first time in Angoro, um, there were mostly quests that were like, okay, well you build your deck in this way, and you complete your quest, and if you complete your quest, you usually win that game. Yep. It was more of like a deck building challenge that built into sort of a gameplay that you know was, was largely pretty linear. These quests are really different from that. Yep. Instead of being a really difficult to fulfill initial conditional, that gives you this huge reward, they're generally a bit easier to complete and give you a hero power reward that changes the way you play the game, which then continues from then on, unlike a lot of the previous quests. Right. Yes, absolutely. So there's a game that plays out after you complete your quest. You can win, you can lose, but you've gotten to do a cool thing. 
And in exchange, the quest leading up to it is much easier. Mm -hmm. It's generally speaking, you complete it somewhere between turn four and turn seven is where we're shooting. Uh, there are also generally things that you build your deck to take advantage of, but most decks do this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. The Warlock quest asks you to draw cards. The Priest quest asks you to heal things. There's exceptions. The Paladin quest, you have to play Reborn minions, but you know the Druid quest, you just have to have mana. Everybody's got mana. So you can build a deck to take advantage of it, but you can also just play this card and it, it'll finish eventually kind of on its own. And one thing that I really like about them, they, they kind of feel like they have a similar role to hero cards in the sense mm -hmm. that they're, they're something that you can sort of build your deck around that changes the way that it plays sort of later in the game. Well, hero cards was like, oh, I drew my, you know, I drew my Rexar, I drew my Jaina, and now the game is about this other thing. I feel like they're a little bit less intense in that direction. It's not just yes. the game is now about this hero power I have, but it gives you this sort of long-term value, long-term flexibility that doesn't necessarily wholly dominate the game like some of the things that have come before it. Yeah, I think if you look at some of the more medium impact hero cards, especially the medium impact hero powers, that's more along the lines of what we're looking at here. Things like uh, Death Knight Malfurion, the super powerful card, mm -hmm. that kind of hero power didn't completely dominate the rest of the game. Uh, you look at something like the Death Knight Jaina. Or Thrall, maybe. Or, yeah, well, I guess sure. that is more about the, the, the other reaction. Right, okay. like yeah. like, wait, Jaina's the one. I was about to say that. This there. is now about that this. That kind of <laughs> dominates the game. We, we went in a different direction yeah. with these ones. Mm -hmm. One of the things I also wanted to call out with quests is uh, the Questing Explorer. Mm -hmm. That The two mana, two, three, battle cry if you have a quest, draw a card. One of the downsides to playing a quest is that you're down a card early mm -hmm. on in the game, which makes a big difference. You, mm -hmm. This card starts in your opening hand, you don't have another card. With Quest and Explorer, you get to draw an extra card, so mm -hmm. that kind of pays you back for it. I, I do feel like both the sort of specific implementation and you know, the rewards and things like Quest and Explorer show just kind of the way that the team had like, learned from the previous quests, how they played out, how people enjoyed them, and kind of taking it in a different direction. You know, like specifically that, like a lot of the quests before was like, okay, well, I'm down a card. I really need to complete my quest to, in order to, to justify this. Now there's both you know cards like Questing Explorer, as well as um, just sort of more generally, like your your deck kind of gets to this point naturally, right? It's not yep. just like okay, I have to be built very much in this direction. Yeah, and it also reduces the polarization of those matchups. Mm -hmm. One of the things that we saw with the original quest was that you would tend to do very well against slow decks and do very mm -hmm. badly against fast decks because you were down a card, because you were down the tempo of playing the quest. And now these quests are easier to complete and a lot of the rewards help you out against faster decks. One thing that I also really like, some of the previous quests, like the, uh, the original uh, Hunter quest, original Shaman quest, they asked you to do things that very often wanted you to, or at least wanted to build toward decks that wanted to play something on turn one. Yes. And that was something you couldn't really do, playing a quest. And right, it feels absolutely. like all of these new quests Recognize, okay, your turn one is generally playing your quest. And yeah. then you, you know, you're not looking to play one drops or play Murlocs, sure. all of which really want to do something on turn one that isn't play a quest. And your turn two is playing Questing Explorer. And so <laughs> there you go, there you go. Yeah, you know, works for the Shaman <laughs> quest, works for the Warlock quest. Exactly. It's pretty good. Yeah. Well, speaking of quests, we may get to see some today. Maybe even potentially a new one. Who knows? I don't know. Maybe we will. Maybe I think that's I know. Because <laughs> we haven't seen a hunter one yet. That's true. We'll, we'll, we'll find see. out, uh, wink, wink there. Uh, but so one other thing I really wanted to call out before we jump into the gameplay, I know you all at home are dying to see it. I know you're like, hey, let's just, let's just jump right into the gameplay. A um, couple things that we have coming up to get you excited about the Saviors of Old Doom uh, action. Starting tomorrow at 9 a.m., we have our Theory Crafting live streams. Brian Kibler will actually be a part of that, which is going to be really cool. Uh, we have content creators coming together to build decks, theory craft what they think the meta is going to be, maybe even make some fun meme decks, and just have a blast. Um, and so that's going to be good. So it starts tomorrow at 9 a.m., showcasing all 135 brand new cards. Uh, and that'll lead into August 2nd, where more people will join in and a bunch of cool stuff. Um, and lastly, we have our Old Doom Invitational. Uh, that is coming on August 5th. Uh, we have competitive players, and we've got content creators from eight different regions competing for the League of Evil and the League of Explorers to see who will be the victors of Old Doom. Uh, so stay tuned for more info on that. But we've got cards to, to show, and we've got gameplay to get to. Uh, I, again, I know you guys are dying to get to that. So Brian and oh, Peter. I am too. Oh, I know you're dying. So I mean, gonna, I can talk forever, but I also really want to play some games. <laughs> I don't think they would want that. So uh, we're going to let Brian and Peter cards. take it away. Uh, our first matchup is Priest versus Warlock. Uh, so Chalky's rocking the Warlock deck, and uh, right. yeah, enjoy this. All right. Uh, I must challenge Chalky. I am the Kib. All right. 
All right, so we're, we're going in order here, right? Yep. A, a light, light shall, shall buff, you. buff you. All right. Good to go. All right, so I'm guessing this is a buff oriented deck. I wonder if we have a quest. We'll see. We'll find out. We'll find out very very soon. Right? I do. Ha! And Ooh, new clear. card already. Bring victory. Well, so this this quest is actually a little bit interesting. I'm just going to keep this entire hand. This seems pretty Boom. good. Boom. So one thing that's interesting about this quest, you don't have to play turn one because this isn't like a you play stuff. This is restore 15 health. So you could you could yeah we could say, just play Northshire cleric. Just play your Northshire cleric in turn one. Ooh, another one. Only ripple. We have three new cards in our hand. Okay, so first of all, penance. This is one of the cards in our opening hand. Two damage, life steal, or rather two mana, life steal. Deal three damage to a minion. So this is obviously, you know, both just a reasonably efficient removal spell, two for three, and then life steal. A great to get it back if you're, you know, falling behind life or wise, and B works for your quest. It does. This one, I'm gonna play this, and we can look at it during Shocky's turn. Yep, it's half a holy nova. Yeah, for oh, two so minutes. Holy ripple, deal one damage to all enemies. Draw one. Whoa. So this is. Okay, so I, I was initially my brain went to Spirit Lash, right? Oh, Which okay, was yeah. Life steal, deal one to everything. This is not that. This is this not is that. Deal one to all their stuff and he, uh, restore one to all friendly characters. So, for instance, yep. if this gets good with Northshire cleric, it is good with Northshire cleric. That's true. For example, yeah. One, so one of the things with priest, sort of historically, is that sinister discover deal. A lackey. Discover a lackey. Okay, interesting. So Warlock gets a bunch of additional lackey stuff. That's one of the big things we saw was Warlock yep. specifically getting, I forget the name of the demon. We're right going to go ahead and attack. And then we'll play our quest. That was good. Boop. And then we're ready Job to done. heal this guy. We are. You could draw a circle or something. Yeah. Be pretty good. Uh, but anyway, it seems like Warlock uh, is leaning pretty heavily on lackeys yep. in, in this expansion. They've There's got Takan, they've got Sinister Deal. You've got the guy that eats a lackey, make a demon. Right, there's the eat a lackey, make a demon guy. There's the, the, the legendary... So Takan. Takan, who yeah. all your lackeys are four for for the rest of the game, which is, yep. which is pretty funny that, you know, it's basically a rogue quest for lackeys. It is. But it's, it's, it's very different because it's, like, it's for lackeys. Because it's still the lackeys, the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but, uh, but yeah, so... And the lackeys don't have charge. That helps a lot. That, yes, yes. I mean, they do have double time, double time. Ooh, okay. All right, all right. Holy Ripple's looking pretty good. Uh-oh, uh-oh. What do you got? Oh, Holy Ripple looking really good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> Holy well, Ripple looking less good. It, ooh, what is this? Oh, wow. Another injured thing. Injured Tolvir. So, a taunt, battle cry, deal three to this. So, this is obviously pretty powerful in terms of... Uh, uh, giving you, you know, more things you can heal with your hero power. Yep. Uh, more things you can use with, like, Circle of Healing. You must consider. So here I do feel like I want to play this Holy Ripple. We'll draw a card off of this. Maybe we draw, you know, something else. And we can possibly like, just trade into this. We're only going to gain yeah. one life this way. Or uh, one, one card, rather. Yeah, we'll just do it. Sure. Boom. We're hoping to draw it. Ooh, oh, that power shield. Perfect. Nice. <laughs> And there's our circle. Okay. Okay. Oh okay. my god. So do we just draw a million cards? No, we're gonna kill this. We wanna, yep. we wanna okay. get this off the board. But we do, this, we still end up getting heal for three on this, heal for one on this. Ticks this up. To oh, and we got another five. cleric. This is pretty good. Ooh, yeah, okay. We're, we're, we're doing the thing. We are firing all cylinders right now. We need him to deal some damage to our face. <laughs> yeah, come on, right here. <laughs> Hit me. We need like crystallizer or something. <laughs> well, we have this, if nothing else. Sure, but penance doesn't penance doesn't work with right. Yeah, for our penances, yeah, absolutely. I was more just thinking in terms of ways to continue drawing yeah, cards and continue uh, advancing our quest. All right, we're doing all right. I like our chances. So it looks like Chucky's deck is a you know lackey zoo style deck, and uh, our deck is way sweeter than that. Clearly, I mean that's true. We got a quest. We have a quest. Yeah. Hey. Although I have I to say, beaming sidekick. One cop, one two, battle try, give a friendly minion plus two health. Interesting. So yeah. now I can't kill that guy, which That's was my true. plan. You just play Tolvir, though. I could penance a guy, but I don't want to. Um, yeah, we're going to play the injured Tolvir, I think. Tolvir and heal. And heal it. It was nice to keep him in face so we can Yeah. Penance. I appreciate that. Ooh, there's a Psycho Pomp. Psycho Pomp's good with Tolvir. Oh, yeah. That's actually, that's actually sick. All right. Um, right away. We'll attack this guy. Turn to the one three, right? Because then it dies to the. We could do that. We're gonna attack this. 
I mean, and like, you can maybe trade into it next turn. Yeah. Oh, we have the pettis here. Yeah, I'm okay. Right away. Sure. Job's done. So, so far we have a lot of new stuff in this deck. We've got this, 29 this, cards. This, this guy in particular is pretty awesome. That guy's really good. So if you even think of this just like, okay, well, well, as a priest, you know, this is four mana for, you know, a 2-5 taunt that, you know, if you just, you know, that you have the option to play as a 2-3 taunt for two. This card just seems really, really powerful. Oh my god. A holy ripple. Let's... So... Okay, so that's that the evil recruiter. evil recruiter. Right, he sacrificed his lackey, good. got this. Let's not do what that one. Guy? Let's not look at that Whoa, one. Whoa, oh. <laughs> we'll, we'll save that one for the next game. That was... That's a card. What it, it, what, it came off of something? Okay, yeah, we'll, it came we'll, off of something. We'll pretend that isn't there. We'll pretend <laughs> that isn't there so we get to see it. We'll see it next game. Cool. I mean, Twitch chat's seen it now. They have, they have. That, but that's fine. Here, I'll, I'll close my eyes. <laughs> okay, I haven't seen it, but you guys did. All right, um, so yeah, let's go ahead. We're going to attack, right attack this, and then we're going to Holy Ripple. Do you want to play another Cleric? Uh, probably I'm gonna, not. No, it's only going to heal three. Oh, yeah, it'd be, be too many cards. That's okay. a lot of cards. Yeah. Boop. Holy Ripple. Pretty good. Ooh, what? Quest. Ooh, what's this? The end of turn restore five health for damage. But whoa, okay. That's kind of sick. Well. I'll take you with me. Word 11, our quest. Too many things going on, too many cards. <laughs> yeah, the cycle pump will be pretty good. Yeah, uh, so far, I mean, well, so far, what did I have die earlier? This is the only it's things I played. Th those are the only things you played, yeah. yeah. So, so you'll get one of those, too. Right. Well, this isn't even going to die. Right. Yeah, I mean, 12 here with Reborn is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, this, this card just seems really powerful. Like, it, it, it is intrinsically, good. like, negative synergy with itself, right? If you play a second one after you play this one, yes. it's like, okay, you get it back at 3-1 if you're born, that kind of stinks. But there's so many things you can sort of build up to it before that. Oh, oh, my God. God. One, two, reborn. Pulse ah. attack well. Damage. Oh. It's an enrage card. Glo why is it glowing? What's going on? That's the, that's the reborn. Oh. That means, that means that it, it has reborn? That means that it will, it come, will come back to back. life. Okay, got it. It dies. All right. Well, um... Just Psychopomp and Penance the 5-2 maybe? Must it's an option. You can also see what Questing we got with Questing. Because if a psych Psychopomp hits the Cleric, that's actually kind of bad. It is quite bad. I'm going to start with this, at least. Sounds good. Of course it's the right way. Ooh. Um... That's a great here. Just play it, play this and heal it. It's or just play this and... And it's the 5 too? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Oops. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, this card seems kind of sick. And you're turning, so so if you if you are just at like twenty five, this just heals you to thirty. Yep. You have like damaged minion, and this is a five cost five five. It's it's Rag Light Lord, just a little bit smaller sure, yeah. and not legendary. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and Rag was a super powerful card. It was super powerful, and, and in a class that takes advantage of it less. Well. Right. Yeah. And this 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 card I think is really good, like, and it's a common too. It's a common. That card good common. Going to be pretty good. Oh, oh, serpent egg. Up. Oh. Eggs are back. Yeah. Not for long though, they get sacrificed. <laughs> so it's a two cost, oh, no it's down here. Two cost O3, death will make a three four. Okay. Well, what do we at? Hmm. So. So we could water bearer and complete the quest. Yeah. Yeah, just water bearer just completes the quest. We could also just power word shield this attack and, well then and we don't necessarily complete I the quest. Wonder. Because we could actually heal this and stuff. Oh no, we'll be oh, at no. four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. I'll oh, kill this. Attack here. This wasn't on the map. Oh, this water there. Good. Oh, I'm just gonna play. I'm gonna play the cleric. That's good. We have all these acolytes. We don't necessarily need it. Heal this. Great. We draw a card. It doesn't. Maybe it just absorbs some damage. 
heal herself. Now we've activated the obelisk. Boom. We can just buff up our acolytes. So, Hero yeah, is pretty good. Die. Restore three health if you target a minion. Also give it plus three, plus three. So yep. you can use this on undamaged minions. You can yep. just give them plus three, plus three if you want. But if you use it on, say, you know, Blade Master, it's like, okay, heal you and then give right, you plus it's like three, plus three, plus three, plus, three plus six, well. basically. Yeah. Ooh, disease vulture. Okay, this card's cool. I like that card a lot. That's my favorite warlock card in the Ooh, set. Oh, cool! <laughs> Arma bot. <laughs> what could be in the box? Right, something with a battle cry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, this guy's got to die because you know. Because otherwise we kill otherwise his vulture. Just, and also he's healing. In science, fool. Okay. Wah, wah. Better with a battle cry. <laughs> Better with a battle cry. <laughs> These guys are buddies. They, they both cover the same thing. Oh, that was pretty good for us. Yes. Okay, so. Hmm. I'm gonna psycho pump first and see what we get. That makes sense. The end of course it's the right way. Okay. That's less exciting. Um well. Extra arms, heal the cleric, kill the three five. Well, the, we we could do. I think it's probably best because yeah, I, I kind of wanted to attack into something and, and get, the, get card the card draw. But but yeah, this is sort of like getting a card because we don't it spend the second half right of extra Boom. arms. Yeah, this this quest seems really powerful. Like, it's pretty good. We sort of naturally. Ooh, another one. Ooh, that was good. <laughs> I, I, you know, a lot of a lot of priest decks, you know, they naturally want to play. You know, cheap stuff like cleric, like blade master. You know, they aren't necessarily super high impact as you Quite get to later in the game. Yeah. Right? Yeah, exactly. They aren't necessarily super high impact as you get to the the mid to late game. But having the ability for any of those to become a threat, your opponent has to kill every single thing, or else it's like, okay, well, this is going to get you know enormous over the course of just like a turn or two. Right. And it snowballs pretty far oh, yeah. out of control too, right? Right. A minion sticks for a turn, your opponent couldn't clear it. You can definitely win the game with that. Yeah, well, one of the, one of the things that I was thinking when I was thinking, okay, what do I want to see in Saviors of Ulden, right? Like, what are the sort of things that I, I was hoping, you know, cards would be around? Um, and one of them was was uh, sort of long-term value tools that can compete with stuff like Dr. Dillon, right? Yep. And the quests... Whoa, oh quests God. are in a good spot for that. The quests go a, lo a, you know, a long way toward making that possible because in, in a game where your opponent, you know, is, is every every few turns getting a free mech or whatever, they're rushing into your stuff, it's like, well, it's a lot harder to rush into gigantic things to kill them. Uh -oh. Ooh. Oh, Amit's pretty good. I don't know if that's what we're playing right now, but it's sweet. Um, hmm. I think we're going to more arms and kill this. This thing's too big. Yep, I agree. So we're definitely going to more arms this. Well, actually, we could more arms this and heal this. So we get and a card and plus it. And this kill kills... Kill the 4-3, I guess? Yeah, that's probably better. All right, we're going to more arms you. Kill this. This wasn't on the map. Heal you. Right away. Boom. And then we'll play a second. We have the most arms. We have so many arms. We want to we get a taunt back from we don't want to get beat up by all of course it's the right uh, We have many quests to explore. We're taking 11 on board. Yeah. Ow. I need those penances back. I need to gain some life. But I mean, we do have. I mean, know, our hero power can't hit face. It's sad. It's true. It's true. Not your face. Boom. If you target your axis, does he get plus three, plus three? <laughs> I don't think so. Curses. I think he counts as a hero at that point. <laughs> Drawing Drax off like Geppetto is, is, is pretty fun. Oh, yeah. It's just, it's just a 315 anyway. Yeah. Ooh. Shall break I'm going to pack your your hero. Okay. Awaken. There's so many of these temple disruptors. Well, actually, no. I was thinking uh, this guy. There's another another one, too. Yeah, there's a bunch of these, like, one twos that do reasonable things. My poor cleric. It's all right. He's not going face, so... Not that unhappy. Yeah. Okay. Well, oh, yes. 9, 12, 14, 16. We have lethal. Yeah, but that's way less cool than just playing where things get to use our hero power more. What are you doing counting, you know? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Whatever you like. Okay, we'll make a gigantic. She has completed her quest. She has completed her quest, and so have we. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the real important thing is we got to go 4 0 against Chucky. That's, that's true. We are trying to do better than last time, and we're off to a good start. Boom. All right, that was pretty good. Yeah. 
Yeah, you know, like, I definitely think that the, the, the quest seems really powerful, seems really cool. Obviously, when you're playing a, a, a you know, deck with clerics and buffs against a zoo type of deck, it's probably going to stand out and be particularly powerful. Yeah. Um, but uh, but I like the And sort we of had a good draw, too. Yeah, we it, did. It we did, played sure. out pretty well, and drawing the power word shield immediately, and right. then the right. circle. Yeah, and when, you, when, you, when, you, when you point out all the things <laughs> that went my way, it just sounds like my life. But, yeah, you know, <laughs> it was all a good draw arms. and a good deck. <laughs> yeah. I, I enjoy that one. Right. Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and jump into the collection manager. Uh, so we should have had a total of 11 cards. I think there were two that we didn't see from the Warlock right. deck. There's one or two of them. Uh, we may have actually seen 12 on accident, but we're going to talk <laughs> about that one card oh, here's, later. Here's, here's the deck we did play. Yes. So we had four from the Priest deck. Oh, yeah. We didn't see a Ritualist. All right. So this is the quest, which was had already been revealed. Very yep. cool. Very powerful. Extra arms. Grand which got Mummy. Buff. Another new card, which you know we, we didn't draw, but had already been revealed. Yep. Uh, Holy Ripple. So yeah, this is the sort of half a Holy Nova. Yep. One of the things that, that Priest has historically really kind of struggled with is AoE, like mm -hmm. you know within the, 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 the classic set and the basic set. Um, you know, this giving you a way to actually clear off things. It isn't like a combo with Wild Pyromancer uh, in the early game. Can be like very powerful against like token type strategies and everything for sure. Yep, and it's pretty good with Thalnos too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I am curious too. I think we just proved that activate the Obelisk is is pretty pretty freaking cool. But I was curious. I know when it came out, there were some varying opinions online from the community. Brian, what's your consensus I on mean, it now after playing it? My my reaction when I saw it, I just posted the image with uh. I saw that. <laughs> It, it's pretty good. Uh, it, it looks kind of outrageous, right? Right. It, it, it is not easy to enable. Well, you need to have things happening in order to actually heal 15. Health. Right. That's a lot. Uh, obviously, the existence of cards like the Injured Tolvir, which we saw here, yep. Injured Blademaster. You know, frankly, like you can use Damage Stegatron. There's a lot of, of, yep. of minions that have the ability to you know, provide you with a heal target, which is... Right. Damage nice. himself, heal up. Crystallizer as well. Yeah, Crystallizer you to heal too. yourself. And, and with with Penance, for example. Crucially, too, you know, as we, we even played that game, you don't have to play this turn one. Right, you can play your Crystallizer on turn one, your Cleric on turn one, and then right before you heal, you spend your one mana to do this. So you know the, 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 that, that fact really does change the way that a deck like this can play out compared to some other types of quest decks. Totally. Yep. Uh, now I think, can we hover over Sandhoof Water well, Bearers? Well, Ritual is Pennant. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is another. We're getting there. I'm getting yeah, ahead this of is another, another. This one I think had already been previously revealed yep. too, but this is you know. But it's a cool card in this deck. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Especially you know putting this next, you could play like out you know Blade Master and a, a you know. A, Sure. Injured Tolvir. Well, a lot of arena players I know were super excited about Ritualist, and I was talking to like Dreads, and he was like, "Ooh, this card looks super powerful in arena." Yeah, so, for sure. Yep. yep. Amet's quite good. Mm -hmm. That's a. It's good with Reborn as well. Yes. Yeah. Definitely seems. When pretty, they uh, pretty come safe. back to life, instead of going to one health, they go to seven. seven health or yeah. whatever. Amet's or or health you know, health twenty health. Yeah. Is it Amet or Amet? I have no idea. Good. Okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> My guess is Ahmet. I would say Ahmet. I would say Ahmet uh, yeah. as well. That's cool. And then Sandhoof. And then yeah, the Sandhoof Water Bear. This this card I think is just yeah. This seems extremely powerful. Card's like, pretty good. Yeah. You know, it, it, it the fact that it can heal your hero. Yeah. You know, if you are playing as an aggressive deck, the fact that it can, it can give you sort of board control and trigger all of your things that care about healing. You know, as you're mentioning, like kind of like Ragnaros, but a you can play two of them. Yep. B it comes out much faster, and C it's in a class that, that has many more synergistic effects with those healing effects. So Absolutely. That seems the, really even really just cool. the quest. Right. It's yeah. also an interesting card to play because you have to figure out wh how many damaged guys do you have and right. how do you get the heal on the right thing. Yeah, playing playing with and against Ragnaros was always very interesting. It's like, yeah. okay, you know, and, and even just like someone gets, you know, a, a light well off of a, a, a sure. lackey nowadays. It's like, okay, what do I, how do I attack? Because I can't kill the light well. Do I, like, attack the light well for one? Do I attack you for this? Yep. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, really excited to see that card for sure. Yeah, Let's That's jump cool. into Warlock really quick. So the two cards we did not get to see, if memory serves me correct, Bug Collector. That's in neutral. There's we can just put it here. Oh, there you go. Sorry. Bug. Bug Collector. Oh, okay. There we go. I like this guy. Interesting. Help out with the zoo. for one. Battle Cry Summon a 1-1 Locust with Rush. Okay. So yeah, that's you know two bodies. If you care about getting multiple bodies for things like uh, Knife Juggler yep. or you know, Sea Giant or if there's a new Quarter Creeper. You know. <laughs> you know. And it's a locust, which is a beast. Yep. yep. So that could possibly have uh, synergies in, say, a hunter deck. Yep. yep. Scavenger hunter or druid could maybe take advantage of that. Yep. Yep. And yep. candle taker it, was the last one, by the way. Candle. It's basically taker. murloc tide caller, but it's instead of being a murloc, tide hunter. Instead of being a murloc, it's a. Uh, okay. Beast. Candle taker is a three-two reborn. You know, wake candle. <laughs> 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 oh, gotta love the flavor text. Absolutely. Okay, yep. so cool. yeah, it's, so that was it's the last one. A, uh, 
the mummified kobold. It is. All right. Togwaggle has some influence here. <laughs> cool. That's one of the things we'll see a little bit more in the flavor for Saviors mm -hmm. is that the Evil League is working together mm -hmm. now, and you're seeing some things where you know, Hagatha and Dr. Boom are working together, and Togwaggle okay. and Hagatha are... This is kind of Togwaggle and Lazul sure. kind of working okay. together a okay. bit. That's awesome. Cool. Well, All cool. Right. Well, we got more matches to play. Right, yeah, we got We've got Mage right. versus Druid. It's time to hex and flex on Chalky. So, already up 1 0, but I'm going to give it back to Brian and Peter. Right. They're going to take it away with this next match Mage versus Druid. Thank All you, right. Chris. It is hexen and flexen. I, don't really, I mean, I, I would think that it would be the shaman doing the hexen. <laughs> Maybe there's uh, Hexlord Malacrass or something. I don't know. Or a new one. Jane! Versus well, this Mount this Fury. does have the card that we saw last game, so Almost you're not going to be in the dark. Oh, now. this one right here, Zephyrus the Great. Zephyrus the Great. If you have no, if your deck has no duplicates, wish for the perfect card. Yep. So I actually did see this when it, when it appeared before. I was trying all to right. feign ignorance, but that's all right. I, okay. Well, I'm guessing we have no duplicates. We have no duplicates. I'm going to help. I'm going to. We have to be paragons of deck construction here. Okay, so I I mean. We're gonna find out how this works. It's a two cost three two, which is already like you know pretty good. I don't know what Chalky's deck is doing yet, so I'm gonna wait on the magic trick. Sounds good. And just end my turn. And then we're just gonna play this to see what happens. All right. So this it looks at the situation uh -huh. and it gives you the perfect card. It gives you the perfect. My card. greeting. Okay, untapped potential. This is like the quest. Are you gonna coin to use the quest? That'd be cool. Yes, you did. All right, all right. Okay, well. Let's find out what the perfect card is. All right. So it just looks at the situation, looks at basic and classic, and gives you three oh. interesting options. Oh, okay. Huh. So it says wild growth if you're the kind of deck that wants to do that, animal huh. companion if you just want tempo, or bright wing if you just want value. I mean, I always want the dragon. Which sounds good. With, and value. What and value. You? Both. You know, both uh, both halves of this give me Don't give me what I, I want in life. So. If he had a bunch of minions on board, it would give you like a flame strike That's if he had so seven cool. mana, or if a twisting I'm, nether. I'm if you had eight so mana. curious how that actually works. Like what what's going on behind the, the 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 scenes? So it looks at all of the basic and classic cards that are interesting. Okay. So it, you know, like Raptor's not an interesting card. It's never going to give you. Raptor. I mean, Blood and Raptor. I mean, have you seen Rappy the Raptor's YouTube video? I Raptor's an interesting card. He has, it, a, he has quite the backstory. All right. He's rarely the perfect <laughs> card. Okay. So it looks at all the cards that you might want. Uh -huh. And uh, breaks them into categories. He, did, it, he didn't know that I wanted a crazed alchemist. Well, if you know. played him now, he would have given you a crazed really? alchemist. Yeah. Wow. Well, only if you had four mana. Because he wants you to play it this turn, because the <sighs> Doomsayer is going to go I'm away. I'm really so curious how this works. Uh, and then it breaks it into categories and gives you the best card from... Three categories. Right. The three best categories, I guess. I'm just gonna play this. Let's take it. There's a lot of learning with Zephyrus for what is it going to give you, <laughs> and like, what's a situation where it's actually useful? Okay, interesting. I, I really like that it's a it's a you know two mana three two. Yep. So a like it can be used. Ooh, what was that? It was discover a choose one. Yeah. Choose and choose one. Um, a like you know it's something that you can you can use sort of in the early game to get things to play because yep. one of the one of the issues with singleton decks with the Reno style decks. Let's take a look at this one real quick. Mountain Discovery Giant's a good early play. Often you can get Mountain sure. Giant off of that. Interesting. Or uh, Edwin. So it, it's it's looking at like what you can do basically like this turn or next turn yep. more or less. Huh. It tries to prioritize this turn. If there's something really amazing for next turn, we'll do that. <laughs> maybe maybe we'll get a card that we haven't seen. Yet. It's possible. Maybe we'll get another Zephyrus. Oh, we get a Godfrey. Godfrey's not bad. I'm just completing his quest up here. Um, I still don't know what I want, so I'm gonna wait on my magic trick still. Sounds good. But yeah, so yeah, in the in the early turns, it gives you kind of a, a early tempo play that can give you an additional play like the following turn. Yep. And then in, in the late game, it can give you you know powerful things, right? Yep. That's just that's so cool. Wow. And two's a good cost because especially in basic and classic, eight is a really important breakpoint. That's where Tyrion lives. Sure. And yeah. Lay on hands in Twisting Nether, mm -hmm. which are all the kinds of cards you might want. Okay, so next turn is going to actually be able to complete this. Well, let's just Acolyte and Ping. Let the pain speak to me. Let's see all my cool cards. Job yeah. done. Frost Nova. Yeah, Nova okay. Doomsayer, that's good. This card is, uh, you know, we kind of glossed over it. It had been revealed already, but uh, 
three four taunt reborn death rattle restore three health. This is pretty a pretty powerful card. It's pretty good. It feels like you know frequently this is going to be very similar to like a sludge belcher. It stops some damage, um, you know, gives you the initial body a secondary body, and it's gaining you life. So the fact that it's uh, uh, it's, uh you know, a little bit more expensive than a sludge belcher. Yeah, it's kind of so a cross just... between sludge belcher and healbot. Yeah, or well, like a it's one more mana than both. Yeah. Free your mind. And yeah, I, I, I assume it's true that the uh, the reborn half still keeps the death rattle for it. Yep. Yeah, yeah, six so you get six healing. Oops, so he's completed his Assyrian tier. All right. Well, that was a good draw. It was. Now we can actually kill this, so he doesn't. Well, get even more copies of everything. Do everything. <laughs> Yes. That seems like it'd be kind of bananas. All right. Well, I'm going to us. ping my guy. That's good. Try not to. We don't want to burn any cards. There's Reno. That's what. That's what pe the people want to see. People Burning want cards? to burn the cards. <laughs> yeah. That's what they. They. They, they, they have appreciated that over true. the years. All right. I'm actually just going to attack into here and get another card. Sounds good. And not burn a card. Ooh, I'm play this well, AI. Let's, AI. <laughs> let's, let's see what happens. No, no, not you. Yeah, that's well, right. Possible. Yes. I'm just gonna play a deep zone. I'm gonna play a big thing now that the choose ones are doubled. Even though I have the Reno. So, like, sort of philosophically with the, uh, each of the, the League of Explorers, right? Ooh, ooh. Choose both. Choose both, that's pretty good. That is really good. And I, I like the, 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 the Worthy Expedition thing. Obviously works very powerfully with the Assyrian tier and that yes. style of deck. One of the things when I first saw the quest, the Assyrian tier quest, um, that I was curious about was like, okay, is there enough, is there enough sort of critical mass of these sort of effects? And that obviously goes a long way to giving you. And there's a couple of cards, there's a couple of choose one cards in Saviors as well that are mm -hmm. quite powerful. Draw a secret deck, it costs zero, okay. So this, the, we, we've seen a number of, of cards that are synergistic with secrets, right? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of, uh, of, of secret support. Yep. Um, and this is probably the most powerful of the sort of secret support we've seen, at least in terms of enabling it, right? Because this, there's a couple of things. One, it just gets you a secret from your deck when you're playing a deck that cares about it. Two, reducing that to zero means you can play it in the same turn as your secret synergy type cards. Yep. Um, there's one, one of them that like the flat AOEs mage. your opponents. Yeah, that, that one's very strong. Like being able to play multiple secrets in the same turn as that card seems super Pretty strong. Good. All right, I'm gonna start with Magic Trick. Oh, we get another magic trick. We can overdraw him. <laughs> <laughs> Does it count if we burn their cards, their new cards? All right, we're not going to do that. I'm just going to take this counter spell. All right. And then we'll just play. play this oh yeah, there's the, the reborn thing that I, I now know what it is. It's like, what's this mean? A little bit like Divine Shield. Yeah. There's just kind of a thing on it to remind you. It's like, hey. It's pretty loud. Like, yeah. Look at me, this is important. This guy is coming back to life. <laughs> it's like minor detail. Mm. Not gonna be actually be dead. We can we can actually Barista our Reno, just keep killing yeah. all stuff. Barista I, plus Zephyrs, very good. Yeah. You Zephyrs for like a Frost Nova and you Barista it back. Ooh. And, Ooh. and so the and the Zephyrs is a neutral card. Mm -hmm. So you can obviously play that with any of the the sort of naturally, you know, uh, singleton classes of the league. But you can also just if you want to play, you just put it in Rogue. Yeah, you, play that, play that Rogue. you could you could play it in Shaman with like the, the yeah, battle, battle cry quest. quest. For sure. Yeah, Zephyrs I think is really cool. He's super super skill testing. Yeah. It's just fun to play too. Yeah, like, like sort of understanding. Ooh. Whoa. Choose one plus two plus plus two plus two or get a copy of this. Oh man. That is yeah. a pretty powerful card with this. Yes. We wanted to make sure there was a good... Five. That is a serious payoff. That's pretty good. Oh, that's also good with Barista. Uh, yes. I think we probably... Here, let's play this first. Reno and Mysteries. Boop. Yeah. We get it. Oh. No. Oh, we're out. <laughs> We've already drawn both of them. We had two secrets in our deck. Ooh, that's sad. Hmm. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> right. Well, I guess we'll play this. <laughs> <laughs> At least we know we have no duplicate secrets in our deck. <laughs> All right. Well, good to know. If I have any secret synergies, I need to be careful with the secrets <laughs> I have. <laughs> if we get to have Reno next turn, we'll just breeze it back, and that'll be great. We can, yeah. Although... Uh -oh. oh, no. Ugh, oh, dear. that's gross. Oh, oh, that's gross. 
That card is so powerful in this deck. Oh no! Oof. I am getting. I am getting that, but can we? Isn't a great. Can, no, we can't. Like we can. If we Godfrey, we kill this and we hit a four. So we can, Godfrey doesn't actually do enough. We can Frost Nova ping, and then that sets up a future Godfrey. I like Calico's Frost Nova for next turn, though. That's true. There's I also just like wonder. the Flame Ward. Yeah. Is this Flame Ward and like AI or something? We'll, a, we'll start by AI. That's interesting. Ooh, that's good. With that's also interesting. Okay. Yeah, we could just like flame ward and counterspell. Crazy. We could flame ward and ping something. We could also just counterspell and ping something and not play the flame ward for planning on playing this anyway. I want. I'm gonna do this. All right. Play this. Ping. Out on me. And hopefully he doesn't do anything totally crazy. Now we're taking 18 here. Details, details. We're at 36. Yeah, so we'll have some life to spare. Yeah. As long as he doesn't like Scenarius or something. Ooh. Choose both. Choose both. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Scenarius would be really bad for us. Ah, yeah. oh, why'd you have to say <laughs> something? Um, this is James. Okay, well. All right. I think we actually are fine. This is though. fine, right? We, 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 we voodoo doll. We voodoo, we voodoo doll plus, uh, plus Godfrey. Godfrey. We voodoo doll this, Godfrey. But that's have, not a clear, right? No, it's not. Right? It's voodoo doll and this, Godfrey. We go. No, we'd have to ping this too, yeah. There's yeah, no yeah. six. There's no only. Six. There's, there'd only be a two or four. Okay. So well. what if we just Calicos? Yeah, let's Calicos Frost, Frost Nova. Nova. The fate of the world hangs in the balance. The Calicos Miraculously gives us. Okay. Frost Nova. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty good. Because well, next turn we can barista we'll Frost Nova if we want. Job mm -hmm. done. Or barista and flame he also just has Frost Nova. Hands. He can't play anything else. He can obviously play buffs on his guys. Yeah. He's Druid, so he doesn't have a ton of just base damage spells. Yeah. We have a counter spell up too, so. Right. The fact that a minion does nothing right now. And the first spell does nothing. Mm hmm. Starfall is really good with choose both. Yes. <laughs> it's very good. Okay. Well, ooh. Um, so we could flame strike here, and that kills. Why would we flame strike? There's no. No, we can flame strike ping Godfrey? Because this is still the same thing, right? If we mm. voodoo doll, because flame striking leaves just these as a uh, four and three. So we could flame strike, barista Ziliax and trade. Well, I think we flame strike first. Three, we'll right? definitely. Flame so I mean, I could just ping this and play Godfrey, which kills these. This this survives. I'd love to save Godfrey for the next time he does this. If we can. Well, we have this, and we have this. Uh, I kind of like just... Time runs out on me. This will be a magic bar! Yeah. We'll leave uh, Calico some of those as well. Okay. Yeah, we have Seamount as well. Mm-hmm. So this guy, this this card's pretty sweet. Obviously, like you know, just as a defensive tool, you know, rush divine shield or rush wind fury can be super powerful. If you want it to be aggressive, it's like okay, you know, this is wind fury divine shield or whatever. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. But it's, it is a choose two, so it doesn't give you a million options with that. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. Battle cry choose choose it's multiple. Just gain two of. Yeah. Starfall or something? Yeah. Another one. All right. Rip Calicos. Jeez.
I mean, we could Zilliax, we could Siamat, could be like Rush Divine Shield, but then these are these. What to do? Dangerous. Well, I mean, I, we could play Just this. Play we could mm -hmm. Rush Divine Shield play this. That's fine. I kind of like that. That's a double buff. If we get double buff, they don't, I don't even die, too. I could also just give this rush taunt now. Hmm. Could have just played I this, wonder. too. Bump this, not play this. Yeah. And then, eh, this is kind of mediocre at that point. All right, I think I'm just going to do this. This is sort of weird because it is after. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's, it's not, not like explosive trap. Explosive trap. Yeah. Let's just play the spellbreaker just yeah. for the four three. Your magic Boom. shall not save. Just like play across this. Two two yeah. We're not. We're not. I don't know. I don't. I also just don't know what else is in my deck, so I don't want to like you know, spew out my ray of frost and then have like a mana cyclone or something. I think we've got some value stuff in our deck. We don't I have any secrets. So. I would guess. Yeah, we have no secrets. We have no we know secrets. That. Ooh, that was and do Uh oh. Ah. Choose all. Well. Hmm. Uh oh. So we could go see him out with like Divine Shield Wind Fury, Frost Nova, and just try and kill him? Yeah, that's a really good uh, Boom. 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 I don't know if this is really gonna work in the, the killing him sense. Yeah, we're a little bit short yet. on but we've got some we've got some some time. We got some tools. We can we can you know barista get more of these. That's true. As to whether that will work. <laughs> right, I was gonna say. I'm he's not sure how played, useful th that is. I think is. he's already played both of his powerful wilds. Maybe not. He's played one, I think. He's played both star falls, but oh, right, no rats. Yeah. Mm. We need fireball. <laughs> we know we have fireball. We, have, we, we, we will, we will, we will get, get it fireball at the beginning. It's true. <laughs> it's true. We have we have some tools here. We still. have some tools. We've got yeah. Ray of Frost. We got Voodoo Doll. Mm -hmm. We just have Seamot too. Yeah. I mean, worst case scenario is we can just kill things. Behold, the man of the sound. Card. Oh, new card, Crystal Merchant. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> that obviously works very well with the deck that wants to be doing this. Ooh, oh, nice. new card. Oh, nice. After you cast a spell, add a random mage minion to your hand. Okay. Okay. Good so with Ray I of Frost. could play this Ray, Ray, Flame Lord. I wonder. All right, that's what we're doing. That's Boom. That's what we get. Perfect. <laughs> It, 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 there aren't that many mage minions, right? There's not that many mage minions. Um. You know, it was one of them. Perfect. I just want to play this. Yeah, I do too. The problem is that something gets to attack first. Perfect. Ooh, well, we got we got a lot of secrets for next turn if we survive. Oh, kill this guys. Maybe it's a good phase. Kill the two three threes. Kill the two three. Uh, how am I gonna win? Then this? how do you win? Yeah. No, I am gonna. All right. Kill the one four and. All right. Just hope he has no buffs. Well, he has one buff. Only I guess one of these survives. Yeah. If he has if he has a buff, I die. Eh. Maybe I should kill one of these. Because yeah, there's the two three threes. Ooh. Okay. No! Okay, we're dead. We are dead. Very, very. Alas. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the, the flame board is kind of weird because, it, yeah, it's not quite explosive trap. It doesn't right. quite protect you from the first thing attacking like an explosive trap would. We would have died even if we killed one of those things, so we'd have to kill both. We had to, we had to kill both. But then, then it's like, how are we actually winning from that position with that? Okay. With our hand, but. 
Well, the oh, thing that's you unfortunate. Hope you out. Oh yeah. Well, as you say, the thing that's unfortunate is you didn't 4-0 him, so <laughs> it wasn't better than last time. Ruined. That's all right. Chalky, good on you. You are sniping us a little bit though, so <laughs> we'll, you know, we'll, uh, you know, we'll give credit to Brian I mean, where credit I, I, is I, due. I, I did, I did play my draw secret card with no secrets in my deck. This is that's true. true. This is very true. Well, let's jump into the collection matter. We did show all the <laughs> cards from that matchup, which is cool. We had six brand new cards in that. Um, now, I know while he's pulling this up, I know Zephyrus is one of the cards that Peter... Yeah, that card was super cool. Really cool, right? So there's I love a, Zephyrus. There's a good story behind that. And I know like this is a, a card from the tech perspective that we didn't ever think as a team was ever going to be possible. Like, how do we do this? And so, Peter, I didn't know if you could maybe share some of the backstory of like how it came to be. I know we talked oh, about what sure. it does, but... So, when we decided to do the Highlander mechanic, we said we need to have a cool Highlander card. We need to have something like Kazakus that you get really excited about and you actually want to go and build those decks. And so what could be in neutral that did it? And we said, okay, what if there was a card that said Battle Cry, look through your collection, add any card to your hand. D grab a card from your collection. So I went to Gameplay Engineering and I went to UI and said, can we do this? And they said, please don't. <laughs> of course. <laughs> please, please don't. The expected response. <laughs> uh, and so instead, uh, gameplay and UI and a couple of the designers brainstormed, like, okay, is there a version of that we can do? Can we, like, show you a couple of cards from your collection? And uh, then the idea was, what if the AI picked the best ones? It was just, here's some reasonable choices for you. And then we implemented it, like, five different times, like, complete reimaginings of how are we going to make it work to find the right version? And this is, this is where we landed. So it looks at all of basic and classic, breaks all the cards into categories, and then gives you the best cards from the best categories. So it tries to give you meaningful choices. Generally, that means an AOE, a single target removal, and a proactive play that's like, hey, here's a reasonable minion, so that you can kind of pick which one you need. Sometimes, if the board is bad enough, it'll give you three different AOEs, because it says, <laughs> you want Listen, an AOE. <laughs> Just pick an AOE. <laughs> Here's some different choices depending on what's interesting for you. Do you want Brawl because you want to spend five mana? Do you want Twisting Nether because you want no risk? Or do you want, like, Blizzard because you want to lock up their board for next turn? Super cool. It's, it's a lot of fun. And as you play Zephyrus more, you understand what are the types of things he offers in different situations and how can right. I convince yeah, him to give me what I want? This, this card is super cool. It's, it's like the genie in the lamp, right? It like is, yeah. Like, ah, that's a good way of putting it. Here, yeah, yeah. here are your wishes. Let me give you what you, you, know, what you want. There yeah. we go. It was in that video, the, the amazing LP video where they were yes. really so playing cool. It was amazing. That, this is the lamp. <laughs> yes. and this is the guy in the lamp. That is right. Yes, this is what we were hinting at. Absolutely. Cool. Very, um, very so cool. I think the other two cards we have are Ancient Mysteries and Dune Sculptor. From this deck so, in particular. Ancient Mysteries right two here. Two cost, so this, yeah. is, this is two cost, do nothing. Right. In my experience, it's two cost. <laughs> I mean, just, just put more secrets in your deck, Brian. Two, co two cost, emote. Opponent emotes back. <laughs> that's, that's as far as I can tell what this card does. Uh, but no, like, like we were saying when, when we were you know, uh, when we were actually playing, I think this card is really interesting for the secret synergy type stuff. Um, obviously, we've had like any deck that's trying to be built around secrets in the past can be kind of challenging when it's like, okay, I need to... A, draw my secret, B, get my secret into play, and then finally C, play the thing that gives me you know, some sort of benefit from it, oftentimes without the secret being broken. Yep. And when there's secrets like Mirror Entity or whatever else, they're pretty commonly... They're, they're easy to break. Right, they're pretty commonly broken. So the ability to draw it from your deck and then play it when you want for zero, I think is very, very powerful. Yeah. Yep. Flame Ward is also a secret that's a little bit tougher to break. I mean, you have to actually right. get attacked. A little bit like Ice Barrier. It's pretty easy for Chalky there. Just, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just buff up your minions and that doesn't matter. And then... Uh, Dune Sculptor. Dune Sculptor. The oh, yeah. The, uh, there he is. Yeah. No, and it's interesting because this is in the same vein as Mana Cycle. Obviously different because it's right. minions versus spells. But I'd be curious to see if it you know makes any type of competitive play. I don't know if you have any thoughts on that perspective. I mean, yeah. I, this this card seems much more interesting for something, something like a Singleton deck. Like mm -hmm. the you know, a deck that wants... Uh, Mana Cyclone is frequently going to care very heavily about like, you know, okay, I want a bunch of stuff from this. You're using the uh, the element of evocation to ensure that you're, you know, playing it for free after playing a bunch of twin spell stuff off of usually a source apprentice. Right. Um, and then keeping your hand big for, for Mountain Giant. This is more like, okay, you know, I'm looking for, because I got minions, I'm looking for things that are going to give me like the ability to win the game. You know, tools to actually win this. Because as we saw, and it did have Hexler of Knowledge, that's there he It is. did, yeah. There he is. That's the name, the, the reason for the name. Um, you know, oftentimes this style of deck, it needs, needs a little bit of help if it's going to be playing a bunch of spells to try and get certain synergies. Um, and then you need a way to actually close out the game. You know, once, once my, uh, my Calicos died, it was like, oh, I don't really have that much going on. 
and be able to get another Calicos from the Dune Sculptor or get a Hex or Malacras to, to get you know, a, a bunch of value back um, is very, very powerful. That's awesome. It's an option for the quest deck as well. The quest deck sure. is cast a bunch of spells. Yeah. So you're casting a bunch of spells and you also need a way to win the game. Right. Yeah. Get some more minions this back This is a way hand. to convert, you know, low-cost, weak spells into... Yeah. Useful minions. Yeah, and, and specifically between, especially Magic, Twick, and Ray of Frost. You know, yep. it's, it's, it's a way to have a card in your deck that represents multiple spells, which in this case can represent multiple minions. Absolutely. Which just allows you to continue generating uh, resources. Because yep. a, a lot of the sort of cheap uh, mage spells, if you're playing a control deck and that's just all you have, it's like, okay, well, what do I do with this against a control right. deck? It's like, it, in many cases, it's nothing. But if you have Dune Sculptor, it's, oh, I'm just going to generate a ton of stuff that they then have to deal with. Right. So, yep. it's cool. Well, I know we got another game to jump into. I did right. think it was interesting from the Druid Quest perspective. I know that was one of the first cards we revealed from this mm -hmm. set. And the initial impression from the community was like, ah, oh, there's not enough choose one cards. I don't think this is going to be good. I think Chalky showcased that. It's actually going to be pretty solid. It, 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 lo it looked very powerful, especially, you know, like we were saying, with the, the choose one discover effect. Yep. Right. Uh, because that, I mean, that game, he discovered Nourish. Right, like, yeah. and, and cast it right after completing the yep. quest, which is incredibly powerful. It's reloading you, giving you, uh, you know, card advantage back from what you lost playing the quest itself, mm -hmm. ramping you up, and even letting you play more stuff that turn. So, right. yep. really powerful. Well, let's yeah, get into I mean, our next the match. The We've got elementals yeah. insane too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The yeah, five yeah. five, the double yeah. five fives with rush. Uh, and then and oh, then he played right. he played the, the one that was that was off the the, the flu. Right. So it was even yeah. bigger. It was uh, five, exactly. Six. The five six. All right, we got our next matchup. We got Paladin versus Hunter. We may or may not see a new quest card here. I don't know. You'll have Finley to wait to find out. I'm guessing this is another another single. This is another deck. Highlander another deck. Highlander yep, deck. another Highlander deck. So, Brian and Peter, take it away. Let's get into the next match. What do you guys call it internally? You call it Highlander? You call it usually we call it Reno. Reno. Okay. Which is confusing when you're playing. When you're playing. <laughs> right. This is a Finley deck, but we call it Reno. I'm playing Reno Finley. Ooh, this is a new card. Golden Scarab. Battle cry discovery. Four cost card. Yeah. That's cool. It's like jeweled scarab. Yeah. Was from LOE, mm -hmm. and then all right, cool. Let's care. Uh, and this is interesting because it's you're, you're pretty much guaranteed to like curve out, right? You're like, okay, I'm playing a two two on three, but at least I get to play something good on four. Yep. Well, you know, I'm gonna keep it. It's a new card. All right. Maybe we'll discover another new card off of it. Maybe we'll find Zephyrus or Finley. Ooh. No, we didn't. Prismatic lens. I suppose that's an argument to just keep the Call of Adventure because you're more likely to get those. Well, well, well this this hand is uh, a little inefficient, but traveler. we'll find out what the, the, the Quest is right now, I think. There it is. Let's yeah. mulligan it. Summon 20 minions. Reward is Romkin Roar. Yeah, if you mess over the quest where he is. Uh, over here. Whoa! Yeah, that's okay. A card. So, summon 20 minions. This works with any kind of summon effect. Like, Unleash the Hounds works. Yep. Anything. Absolutely. That, that Desert like Spear, or uh, I guess Halazi you're playing. But Halazi sure. will give you a bunch of minions. And then the hero power becomes your minion get plus two attack. Wow. And that's okay. permanent. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's just a buff. Wow. So the sort of hunter, oh, and we, we drew Zephyrus, by the way. Right, so we could Zephyrus for Animal <laughs> Companion or something here if we want, or we can save it for AoE, because he's going to play a million I feel like I want to play this. All right. I feel like I want to play it. All right. Uh, I want to curve out. We're going to get the same choice as we did last time. Oh, we did. Exactly the same choice. That's kind of funny. All right, well... Wild Growth's pretty good, Animal Companion. Yeah, we'll, we'll Wild Growth this time. I actually have curved with this into the fourth or four drop, but we'll take the Wild Growth. We'll, we'll go with this. So it, 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 hmm, it does, it's like basically you will, if you play this in turn two, get those three pretty much every time. If they don't have anything. Interesting. Yeah. There, and, and so that is, it's that like calculated by like, what is the card that you're most likely to win playing this turn kind of thing? Or, or just like a We variety? just went through the thing that based on classic stats and said, hey, what are some interesting choices? And so mm -hmm. Bright Wing's in the draw category, the resource advantage, and then Animal Companion's the best proactive play on three. Okay. And Wild Girl's just interesting. So this is, this is still going to be my plan. We're going to play this into this, and then we're going to write it. That's good. Ooh. Ooh, new card. Reborn Lifesteal. That's pretty good. Well, it's a new card, so I have to take it. All right. It's like, those are the rules. Um, okay, this is really interesting because lifesteal on like a uh, relatively high attack minion, obviously four attack lifesteal and for four is pretty powerful, and then like very likely this is going to connect twice. Yep. Um, so that's that's really interesting. I mean, previously we had like the lifesteal charge, there's like uh, mm -hmm. Chillblade Champion mm. a while ago, but the reborn, you know, giving you extra hits with that is definitely much more powerful against like an aggressive deck, for instance. For sure. You have to get eight healing off of that. Mm. Huh. 
so. The uh, and and then the the sort of direction of the uh, the Highlander deck, the Gableton deck. Pretty much all of them are, are kind of control oriented. Obviously, the the the, the hunter one summons King Crush. Yeah, the hunter one can be fairly constant. aggressive. Yeah. Ooh, there's the uh, this is one of the newer cards. The Desert Spear. Rush, obviously very powerful. And Finley. Going toward this. Ooh, two Finley. That's pretty good. Ooh. Well, probably like upgraded Paladin, maybe. Well, I th I was thinking maybe I'm gonna play. Vi yeah, I think I play the four drop and then I play these Wild two Growth the plus. next turn. Sure. That's what we're gonna do. Because pretty good. We want to get pretty sticky. We want to keep the pressure on. Let them just keep good. getting up there and get that quest uh, online. Yeah. One of the ways these matchup this matchup can play out is that you save Zephyrus for late and you get Pyroblast. Sure. And that's okay. that's the way you actually finish off the game. That's it, yeah, like like you were saying, the the you know, okay, well how does this this work um, from a ooh, betaed arrow. Rude. Wow, that's bad for us. That did not that did not go well. And then you just pack that and then, and then trade it. in with that. That's not good. That was awful for me. <laughs> I hope would have been good a little bit ago. Yeah. Where where was that off of my uh, my Zephyrus? <laughs> if he'd had a weapon, you would have yeah. gotten it. <laughs> that's that's pretty cool though. Um, I think we're. Just I mean, do you want to leave that up and just play? I do still want a wild growth. I want to play this next turn. Yeah, I think so. So we're definitely gonna wild growth, and then I think we do just play. I say two. I think let's find out what hero power we're gonna get. So that'll shape our game plan a little bit. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we already have. A weapon in hand, at least. I feel like we just want to kill him with the ballista shot. I don't. That's what we, I think too. I don't I, think we can tank up. Yeah, we can't tank up past the quest. We just can't. Yeah, we can't win the long game. Right. So we're gonna. We're gonna. Who's the hunter now? <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> All right. I, I. I can. I can see in my head the 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 smork good choice go, yep. like just spamming through the chat right now. The paladin deck. The paladin singleton deck is pretty interesting. It's. Mm -hmm. It plays out this kind of mid-range way where you're not sure exactly what your game plan is because both Zephyrus and Finley let you pivot. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. That's that's really interesting. I and I I, I like the fact a lot of people when when uh, Finley was first revealed, you know they they were like, oh, this is like just like Genembaku. We know you weren't a big fan of those cards. What you know? What are thoughts on this? And I'm like, ah, it's, it's so different, right? It's like, so different because a, um, the fact that ooh, this is scary. The fact that you. Uh, you don't have that card every game, right? Like, yep. unlike Gen Baku, it doesn't just like give you that every single time. And B, it's different what hero power you can get each game. Well, and also you have to be singleton, right? Which makes exactly. a huge difference. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I wanted to play this that turn, but I think I may have to kill this guy. I think so too. I don't think we can space. really afford to do that. Yeah. Here you get the red right one. Makes sense. It's, it's one of those things. It's quiet. So far, he's at what? <coughs> Eight of 20. Okay. Yeah. It ramps up pretty fast. There's yeah. some ways to summon okay. a lot of uh, Yep, there's Speaking a bunch of. more. All right. Yeah. Ow. Ow. Oh, yeah. Ooh. oh, that's good. New card. Set a minion's attack and health to one. Okay. So we could just subdue this. Zilliax, this guy. Hmm. This this devil star has just been giving me mm. the business. Hmm. I don't really mm. know what to expect off of like a prismatic lens. I have no idea. Shrival is in this deck. Ooh, good to know. So we could get insanely lucky. <laughs> <laughs> or we could get nothing. <laughs> I feel like I feel like I, I need to play like pretty mm. heavily defensive here. Can like Zilliac, you can you know, subdue Zilliax. We can subdue and play this and just attack here. Just have the, these three guys. Maybe we, let's try with. I'm gonna I'm gonna start with the Prismatic Lens. All right. Peacekeeper. Special Lens. Okay. Well, that that actually. Well, I like Peacekeeper better than subdue. Yeah. Right. I can Peacekeeper this guy. And. Follow the rule. For justice. Can I think big skewer power? Yeah. Boom. Well, we gotta hunt him down. We got it. We can't, we can't let him get a million guys in play and start roaring at us. Ten more. So I feel like it's probably pretty dangerous for me to uh, to play a bunch of stuff out against and unleash the hounds against this deck. Right. Absolutely. That is one of the ways they kill you. Mm -hmm. 
And I think he has six lynxes in hand, if I remember correctly. I think he has no four idea. cards. He has five or six. Which is a lot. It's a big number. It's a big number. We, we, don't, I, we need tons of cards. Good thing we have one. Maybe a wild <laughs> pyro. pyro would be good too, yeah. yeah. Avenging Wrath? Avenging Wrath would be pretty good. The one five kind of messes with that. Oh uh, so many things. Frostnip. Uh oh, wait. He's still powering us? Mm. I'm, not to I'm the smork deck here. Ah, equality. He's very good against <laughs> this board. It's excellent. Ooh, awkward. Um, well. Can't play New Challenger plus this in the same turn. I could. Hmm. I can't really subdue anything. They're all ones. Right. I have equality. I have <laughs> subdue. <laughs> <too. I'm> like, <laughs> well, wonder. you could just. Lay on hands and hope we find something good? Yeah, I got a 16. The problem is I leave, how many, just need five more. But he can't, he can't, True, he can't play pl them. Play. All right, we're gonna just lay on hands. Because we need to find like pyro. Okay. Okay. Ooh, okay. Okay, so we've got some pieces. Okay. Oh, this is actually pretty good with this, with the, with the pyro. Boom, boom. Yeah. Go to Zilliax if we could somehow stick the Zilliax. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh no. Octasari? What? <laughs> eight cards, eight, eight pieces, that will throw out eight cards? This card's awesome. What? Oh man, we had a card named Decadec in sets for years, literally years, <laughs> which was 10 mana, 10, 10, death roll, draw 10. <laughs> and uh, it was so bad, we decided, all right, what if we just moved it to eight, 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 draw eight. Okay, well that's funny. Um, hmm. Let me what think. What are we doing? I mean, we definitely have to like subdue that guy. I think. Right. Maybe, or we, just, or we, maybe we just pyro equality. So we could equality, pyro. Call just equality scorcher, and not play the pyro. Yeah, that's also fine. It gives us the body in play. Mm. He draws eight cards. That's like not that bad for us. Yeah. We can't use eight cards. Right. He's gonna overdraw some of them. All right. Yeah, I'm just gonna equality plus scorcher. That's pretty good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the animation. The animation of that's fantastic. He's whipping the deck. All right, let's let's see what he overdraws. I'm not the one overdrawing here, everyone. <laughs> it's not me. Oh. Yep. Oh, good. Okay. Good. We, we hit a Tundra Rhino at least. That's. So now he's only four minions away from completing this quest, which basically kills me on the spot. Yeah, we need to get like Tyrion weapon and just I just finish him. Tyrion weapon plus ballista shot just keeps smorking. Yeah, I mean I do have a Zilliax. You do. I have the subdue. Oh, what? Yeah. By the holy light. New card, Pog Champ. Okay, well. Hmm. This card is Swarm of Locusts. Summon seven one one locusts with Rush. Wow. Okay. Pretty good. So I'm in a wee bit of a pickle. Yeah, it's not it's not looking great for the good guys. Well, so we could we can like Pyro plus either Pharaoh's Blessing or New Challenger. Let New Challenger's a little weird. We get a six cost with, with Taunt but loses Divine Shield. No, we could just pyro Pharaoh's blessing and hero power. Because we just have to get our hero powers in. Yeah, somehow. it's probably our best option. We could also just. Nah, there's nothing else. I'm trying to think of a way to flash it. I feel like. <laughs> I feel We're like super I'm dead. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm, in a, I'm in some trouble here. <laughs> In some trouble. We have some clears. We do. He doesn't have that many charge guys. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're at 11? Like the, the Tundra Rhino's gone? The first Tundra Rhino? He only has 10 oh, cards in hand, you know? We do have lethal. Uh, if the 7 6 somehow survived. Theoretically. Well, not, not quite, right? Yeah, hero yeah. power's 3 and consecrates 2. Oh, yeah, we do have the 3 damage hero power. You're like forgetting that I'm, that I'm a smork again. You're a hunter. Hunter OP. Yeah. I wonder. Hmm. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> you again. All right. 
Oh god. I'm glad we have that sub so Is that even using, using the hero power? power? So I think I actually Zilliax Consecration. Yeah, okay. You can't hear a point. Right. I mean, we need to kill this. I mean, we could subdue Consecration. Make this look better. I wish this cost two, so we could like Tyrion or Flashlight. Yeah. I mean, we most actually just want to use this instead, but... Yeah, I mean, we just need two hero powers and a Tyrion hit, mm -hmm. which is mm. still a lot to ask for. Right. Considering the way this game's going. This card's really interesting. Like, it's, you know, there's obviously, like, already humility, right, at one. Um, but obviously setting a minion uh, health is really good this, too. Are we going to... No, he had, no, did no. he have seven cards before? Or, or we'll find out. Forget if, I forget if this We're going to track in counts. No, 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 he's down to one. Okay. Oof, okay. So we could maybe grind him out somehow? We need him to play another one of those Octodads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay. No! 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 Not Hover! Hover's down. Okay. Oh. Oh god, oh god, ow, ow. What? Face. A lot of damage. Okay. Huh. So. Tyrion subdue? Yeah, probably. But this and this still ends up being. I guess if he has, if he kills a Tyrion, this would be mm. five, six, seven, eight. If he kills a Tyrion with Rush guys, we still just die. It's probably right. still our best option. The other option is what we flash of light subdue, flash of light and hope we find something. Flash of light and you well, challenge. If we flash it? of light subdue. Yeah, it's probably it's got to be just better because to play the Tyrion. Ugh. All right. Put your faith in the light. Cards. No, he's not. He's got eight of them. He's out of cards. <laughs> he said he's out of cards. Well played. Uh oh. No, no. Okay. Uh, oh, God. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh wow. my! Oh, all right. Oh, that was that was not close. I was that like, was oh, not maybe close. it's kind of close. And no, it was not no. not at all close. Well, yeah, I, I mean, pretty clearly against that hunter quest, you've got to you've got to finish him off. You yeah, know, yeah actually, to put a little more pressure. Right. Yeah, that deck is. Whew, just There's, sitting and watching from the side, I was like, oh, this is a zesty one. There was there was some powerful stuff going. I mean, it, it took a while to get going, of course. It did for sure. But like against you know controlling or mid range style of deck. Uh, you know, that quest. That quest kind of feels more like the older quests to me. Obviously, it's not like okay. quite as powerful. But we need it, to just clear their board every turn. Right. It, it's like much harder to get online than a lot of the other ones we've seen, right? Yeah. 20 minions is a lot. It is a lot. To summon. But the fact that it works with, you know, stuff like Unleash. It works with, you know, it works with Unleash in both halves, right? Like right. The first sure. half, activating it, very powerful. In the back right. half, oh, well, this is, this is make a bunch of guys who all have charge and get the roar on them. Right. So. Yeah, it's super interesting too. Seeing swarm of locusts, you get the locusts out of beast. Stop defeat in my screen. Desert spear, which also summon the locusts. You've got Halazi the lynx, right. and then you've got all the lynxes. Scavenger hyena comes online. There's just like a lot that is generated from this deck in particular, which could obviously contribute to yeah, the, the quest. Yeah, the itself. seven costs summon the Great. seven uh, locusts with rush. Yeah, you six costs. Was it six yes, costs? Six costs. Yeah. Oh wow. Yes, we okay. did miss one card by the way. In in the Mr. Paladin? Chalky's deck. Okay. No, it was in the Hunter deck. Well, let's take a look at this deck real yep. quick first. So, yeah, we obviously Subdue was one of the new cards, yep. which uh, did not do well enough subduing the Huffer. Huffer was, was <laughs> would not yeah. be subdued. He came back to life. And it was Huffer. It's always Huffer. It's always Huffer. It's always a little Huffer. bit better with Revenge of the Wild than the non-Huffer animal companions. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then, yeah, of course, golden. Zephyrus was yeah. super sweet. Yep. The, the Golden Scarab. Yep. Pretty interesting card. Like... I you know probably should have uh, should have played the, the 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 early game of that a little bit differently given that I had the golden scarab and didn't need to Zephyrus into a curve thing, but yeah. 
But whatever. It's I wanted right. to play my expensive stuff, and it was cool. We just got beat up too quickly. Right. Uh, this is one of the cards we actually got off of the Scarab. Yep. Um, that got absolutely brutalized by <laughs> the, the baited arrow into Locust That's, or whatever. That was pretty bad. That was pretty... You were like, oh, yeah, this is a pretty sticky minion. It's like, actually, it's a 5-5 five, five for him, and it's gone. Yep. Yes. Good old Desert Spear. Yeah, and then, that's pretty uh, bad. Yeah, and that should be it from the... Paladin deck. Oh, the, the, we, this well, was not a totally well. new card. Yeah, yeah. see him out in Pharaoh's Blessing, yeah. both of which had been re revealed before, but both cool cards, both pretty cool. Yeah, along yeah. with Finley as well. We didn't draw Shiro. If only we drawn Shiro. Oh, we needed yeah, Shiro. We would have had a chance. So the one card we did not show is Desert Hair. Oh, okay. Uh, is he gonna spell it Desert or Dessert? Well, Let's see. I think my keyboard is, is locking up. Ah, backspace. There we go. There. Oh, wait, we did show oh, Desert Spear. Desert Hair. I was like, yeah. we saw that. Desert Hair. There okay. it is. Okay, so it's a 1 1 beast for three that summons two other, I assume, 1 1 beasts. Yep. Um, yeah, there's two copies of this, exactly. So they cost three as well, mm -hmm. which is relevant oh, for like evolved sure, shenanigans. Sure, interesting. Okay, so this is this is like uh, Doppelgangst Hair. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I just thought of that on the spot. That was very good. nice. On Pretty the good. spot. You got Octodads. <laughs> 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 Which I was dying. I was trying to hold my composure <laughs> here. What did you think of that card? Speaking of Octasari, what you, like, I didn't know if we were going to get to see it. I was afraid it he was going to really, burn it. I was like, it is please a really, don't really burn the legendary. Card. I mean, it's cool. It's, 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 you know, it's like, it's the sort of thing where, you know, you're, you're, you're playing a deck that, like, you know, is going to use a lot of its resources. Like, frankly, I think that's the sort of thing that could be good in, like, you know, the, the, uh, the Singleton Hunter deck, right? Essentially. It's a big beast. And, you know, Hunter doesn't really have that much in terms of card draw generation or whatever. And it's like, okay, well, I'm out. Here we go! Like, right. And, uh, yeah, kill it or you don't kill it. Either way, it's pretty bad. But, I mean, it is, it is, you know, a little bit vulnerable to silence effects. Although you're just playing an 8 for 8 That's, otherwise. Yep, throw a Spellbreaker. <laughs> but, yep. you know, you, you, like, play dead that, and then you run out of cards the next turn when they kill it again. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Theming was on point, though. And then when you actually draw the cards, the, uh, like, octopus static will come out. It was cool. That's yeah. pretty awesome. great. <laughs> death Rattle Rogue's another type of deck that can take advantage of it. Sure. Where you can get that Death Rattle. You just want it once. Yeah, you're just like Necrium Blade? Woo, okay. Yeah, or, or you just get it off Myra or... Well, Myra Rotspring yeah. is supposed to they draw right. your deck one. Well, it, it's right. basically you get it, and it is Myra. You get it off right. of Myra, and it's the other Myras. So. Cool. We got one more cool. match, folks. All right. We got Anka. Rogue versus Shaman. Uh, we did reveal the Rogue quest yesterday, right, yeah. Peter? It was yesterday? Yeah. So uh, this maybe you can see it in action. This is a Rogue quest that I like. We have to <laughs> challenge him. Oh, right, right, right. I'm just gonna see if there's anyone in the queue. There you go. Ah, there you, you go. Join the queue. <laughs> we just sit here for 20 minutes. Uh, no one. Hmm. It's cool. Brian, Peter, take it away for the last match. All right, let's do All it. Right. Thanks, Chris. So yeah, this this deck looks like it's gonna be right in my wheelhouse. This deck's pretty fun. So yeah, we were we were actually talking a little bit before the stream started about the uh, the road quest, which uh, we're gonna see in just a moment right here. Bizarre burglary. Which is add four cards from other classes to your hand. Reward is ancient right. blades. Ooh, ooh. Well, we got new cards and things that work with these. So I'm just gonna keep these. Boom. Yeah. This is actually pretty sweet. Feral cat is interesting too. Feral cat's interesting in this deck in particular too. Sure, because it could give you off off class stuff. Yeah, a lot of the reborn stuff is neutral, so it mm -hmm. usually doesn't. Yeah. Help you out, but. All right. Well, we're gonna start with good. the quest. So yeah. for those of you who did not see it, we play this. The quest is add four cards from other classes to your hand. And the reward is Ancient Blades, which gives you a 3-2 blade with immune while attacking. Should we just coin out the cat? Do we coin out the cat? Because we're going to clever disguise next turn or fence anyway. Okay, fine. You convinced me. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Meow. Okay. Is this a 3-drop? It does. Got a nice little curve going. Got some stuff going so on. this... Add two random spells from the class to hand, clever skies. Obviously, a powerful way to fuel this. Just two of yeah. these turns it on. Yep. Um, it's specifically, so with uh, there's another way. Yep. All right. Uh, well, let's go ahead. So and we're actually almost done with our quest. Yeah. Boom, clever skies. Nice. Okay. okay. All right. We got a game plan. We've got a plan. Yeah. So um, obviously, this this quest is relatively easy to, to uh, complete compared to, you yeah. know, we, even, we even might any of the new ones, right? We might literally complete it next turn on yeah, turn three. It's entirely possible. Um, but the reward for this is, you know, you get a, a weapon and you keep resetting and you're paying for it that makes you immune attacking. So basically, one of the problems that sort of slower, more controlling rogue decks often have, like, like those that want to steal cards from their opponent and actually have time to use them, is you just die because your opponent plays yep. stuff. And you're like, okay, I, I'm a rogue. I'm kind of a tempo class. I use this dagger. Don't really have life gain. 
getting a, a weapon that allows you to be immune while attacking mitigates that a great deal. Absolutely. And you know, a lot of current rogue decks that are sort of like thief style rogue decks. Whoa. Uh -oh. Okay. Incredible. Totemic surge. Yeah. Okay. Well, we can turn it on we'll if we just want. Finish our quest if we want. We can just I go think, for underbelly, whatever. Yeah, I think we'd probably rather. I'm going to kill his totems. His right, totems yeah. are scary. Let's play this underbelly fence. How much is this worth to you? I don't need that, right? I think I, I think I want to. I okay. feel like if he's playing, if he's playing like these things, there's got to be other stuff. That right, there's got to be other things more. that he wants to. Yeah. Because well, like next turn we can just clever disguise and weapon down the other one. But he can, he can kill our guy. And I'd rather. I, th I think I want to get ahead of his totems if he's playing a totem deck. All right. I feel like this. Is Actually, I'm going to kill first. Yeah. first. We're definitely we'll hit backstab or something. Curse of weakness. Okay. We're just going to. Um, so, um, a lot of the, the Thief Rogue decks that I have historically played have been uh, Spectral Cutlass decks. Sure. So this is obviously Should kind of at odds score. with Spectral Cutlass uh, in terms of... All right, cool. We can finish the quest and kill that guy off. Yeah, so we play the Clever Disguise. Boop. We complete our quest. Boom. Now we have Ancient Blades. This does not work as well with... <laughs> <laughs> but now... You know, compared to Dragon Wars, pretty good. Compared to like a spectral cutlass, this is much better for this purpose, right? Right. It's, it's turn four. It's turn four. We've got it's our online. Weapon. I'm using it. I'm attacking. I don't need any like buffs. I don't need to like keep playing right. stuff to reset it. And if you look at the cards we generated, they're hard ones to trigger with spectral cutlass. Right. This is just not well, an easy. Set. That's one of the, one of the the drawbacks of spectral cutlass has always been, you know, if you're playing as like a warrior and say you played like espionage and right. you just get like. Arcanite Reaper, Weapons Project, you're like, oh, no, I can't right, what do am I doing? Yeah. Right, whereas with this, you know, say you get a Weapons Project, you can use your Weapons Project, kill your opponent's weapon, get some armor, and then get, get your weapon back. Right, absolutely. So I, I feel like this seems like it is more powerful as a tool to control the board than a Spectral Cutlass would be, but it's less powerful as like a finisher than a Spectral Cutlass would be. It is. I mean, three face damage a turn is still something, yeah. but it's not Spectral Cutlass doing ten or whatever, right. and life exactly. stealing. Exactly. Okay, well... I feel like I'm gonna start with Dragon's Roar. That sounds like a good start. That's that's kind of hard. That's pretty on brand. Starting with Dragon's Roar. Okay, and then yeah, we'll kill the totem. Here we go. The good one. We'll play this candle. Pow. Yeah, we got, we've got Nazari and Shadow Me Staff. Too. <laughs> <laughs> so we're never gonna die. Yeah, we don't take damage when we attack. We we're gonna you know just be able to restore full life repeatedly. I'm ready. I'm ready for this. It's pretty good. At some point, we got to generate an elemental for Scorch. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the, the fact that specifically the quest is to generate those cards yep. makes it a lot easier than okay to play these cards. Because yes, a know, lot easier. Obviously, like like you actually get to play the cards when you want to play them, rather than like okay, I have to play them for my, the rest of my game plan to function. Yes. Um, and and I, I I do think that there's some interesting stuff like for instance, Curse of Weakness. It's really good with special colors because yeah. you're like, okay, echo, echo, echo. I have all these charges. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I think the curse of weakness at getting added back to your hand might count for the quest as oh, well. Really? That's not 100 percent on that. Well, all right. How do we want to do this? Scorch, so maybe. Scare power and scorch the three six. Yeah. Probably my best option. I don't really see another great. I mean, we could like eviscerate something. Yeah, we could like eviscerate scorch it or something. Right. That's yeah. so awkward. Pow, and then oops, no and damage back. And yeah, no, and, and you know, like I was saying before, for a deck that's looking to spend mana, spend turns, uh, building up these you know off class cards in your hand. Having the opportunity to actually play them because you're not killing yourself attacking all your opponents. Right, minions, exactly. It, it makes playing the deck a lot more fun because it does. because you get to you get to actually do the cool things that you're you know stealing back and forth. And you get to wait to use them at the right time too. Right. As opposed to cutlass where you're after like I just have to play this. Like I guess I'll I'll play this card that I really don't want to play right now. Right. I, and this gives you time to get to something like Tess, which I think yeah. is, is actually really fun. Oh, I disagree. I think Tess is no fun at all. <laughs> I may have played a little bit of that card historically. Um, okay. All right. Well, we have this fan. That was a really good draw. Yeah, good. We can't quite fan Scorcher, which is what I'd love to do. Yeah. Well, let's we just, just start with fan and see what we get. 
Okay. All right. Um. Hmm. I think I'm gonna burglar and see what that gives me. Yeah. And then probably just vendetta. What's your weapon? <laughs> Our game plays chess. We've got no a play. Play. triple fire blast. <laughs> Uh, Here we go. We've got a plan. All right. <laughs> I'm ready for tests. I'm ready to just pyro, pyro. Py our own face. Oh, God. No, what, what we need to do is, is somehow test while attacking with the weapon so we're immune. Ah. We like mid combat, get mid -combat our tests out there. Test. Go. Something involving attacking an acolyte of pain that draws a scroll yeah, of wonder yeah, that. Okay. That then summons a minion from our hand and activates his battle cry, which is hey, just not how anything works. You know, I got you half the way there. Uh, we're working on it. We're working on it. All right. Well, so Chucky's deck over here seems to be you know, very good. Totem totems on his head, the totemic surge. There Splitting we go. Axe, yep. And this is one of the things when I was killing his totems, I was like, I don't want to have this thing happen. Yep. This is really good. Double Malcolm. healing totem. One of the most fun answers to Amalgam is Zephyrus. Okay. They play Malcolm, and you go Zephyrus, oh, you like hungry, hungry crab. crab it. <laughs> okay, that's great. Unless you I need life, it. in which case you Zephyr sack packed I it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Um. Hmm. Well, this doesn't really kill anything right now. No, it's just all heals back up. Yeah. We can start with this. Hmm. See what we get. Boom. We could. We could like actually have done this. Ooh. Totem's okay. Yeah, let's do this and. Here we go. Yeah, plus attack. Yeah, we can attack. Yeah, we could we could do this. Ooh. Totem into a lackey. This card's really interesting. I like that card a lot. It's good to splitting X too. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, for sure. So we end up with a million lackeys. Good with weaponized wasp. That card seems super powerful. That card's super powerful. <laughs> I mean, you have to be doing a thing, right. but then it's really good. Yeah. Hmm. Ooh. Well, you're overloaded. Your other main plus two attack. Whoa. Okay. Bloodlust variant. So, so this is obviously whoa. Whoa. Cost one less. Minion on the battlefield. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. All right, so we're one turn off of our Nazari. We just have to live. Well, we have this. I mean, we're going to we do just Scorcher. Yeah, scorcher. Yeah. Now that everything's actually going to be scary. We can't quite kill this. I to kill the Flesh Shaper. Yeah, we'll play this. Probably should have done this. Well, actually, no, I didn't. Ooh. Um, I don't think I want to Myra's. Oh, we just send us to strike. It goes into our yeah. Power Blast plan. Yep, yep, yep. yep. True. Here we go. Boom. Okay. Well, I hope we've almost got that Burger Rogue three turn kill. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for this though. We got the Nazari. We do. Off of our dragon. Ooh, it's another card. Sandstorm Elemental. Okay. Deal one damage to all enemy minions over. Whoa. Yeah, good with the Battlecry quest. That is a serious card. It's a Maelstrom Portal variant. Do you want to look at it that yeah. way? Yeah, 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 for sure. That's really interesting. I mean, it obviously is super powerful in a world where you have, uh, uh, what's it, uh, Thunderhead as well. So yep. you're like playing For this, sure. do a bunch of damage, get your guys. So, do I actually want to Nazari this turn? I don't think so. I don't, yeah, I don't kind of just do. weapon. I think we want to kill this. Yeah, weapon that down, a Vis. Right. Like Sinister Strike, a Vis or something for mm -hmm. the other one, or 2 3 of Vis, I guess. No, we're fine. Well, let's play this. Of course, it's the right way. There's no cards, right? And we have an Azari. I doubt we're taking 16 this turn. Right. There's no possible way Shaman could do 12 damage with 10 mana. <laughs> Got nine, nine mana. mana. Nine mana. Kind of like a shutter walk. Doesn't really do very much right now. Oh, snip snaps like. All right. Actually, pretty good with nine mana. Yeah. Jeez. 
that was that was not what I wanted to see. No, that was actually kind of bad. Mischief Maker. Oh, yeah. Swap the top card of your deck with your opponents. Huh. Interesting. So this this is kind of a... I, I love the the uh, Temple or the Indiana Jones sort of reference there. Of like it's it's the Golden back. Monkey. Yeah. And it's got the Golden Monkey and it's just replacing a chicken with it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but how does this work if, if uh -huh. one of you is out of cards? Uh, I think you just give them a card. Okay. What if what if you're I'm out of sure. cards and they have cards? I think you, you get a card. card. I'm not okay. 100%, though. All right, all right. Well... I think I think it is going to be Nazari time here. This wasn't on the map. Gonna, it doesn't actually matter for the new, but boom, plus fourteen. Okay, now we need to shadow step this. Now, now it's time for the pyroblast to begin. We really need another AOE or something. No! Oh, okay. We could spirit and mischief maker and just swap and then swap back. <laughs> huh. Well, I, mean, I think I am going to do. I'm going to do it. It's funny. <laughs> I will be your yeah. Yoink. Here we go. I'm going to get my. Oh, do we just shadow? Yeah, right. I will be your death. All right, we got the two-turn lethal. Yeah, I mean, we got the weapon. We got power, we got blast, power, blast, power blast. blast. We're just setting it up. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing can stop us now. Certainly not a taunt totem. What you got? What you got? Mortals are so All right. Squishy. Ooh, this guy's cool. I, I have two turn lethal, but this gives me two minions from another class. Oh yeah, that's true, there's value there. Eh, we're on a plan. Okay. I don't know if it's a good plan, but it's our plan. Here we go. Immune. Nice. Oh, sorry, I get the in. Boom. Alright. Bloodlust doesn't kill us? It's true. Double bloodlust kills us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I already played a bloodless minion. <laughs> that one was only plus two. That's nice way to All right. All right. <gasps> oh, double test. I mean, someone will die. We've got to do it. So someone will die. First, we're going to play this. Okay. And then we're going to play this. Okay, we can still attack, so we didn't We're die, and dead. they didn't die either. And <laughs> our Nazari didn't die. Oh. Uh, okay. Okay. Awkward. Hmm, well, now we're dead to Bloodlust. Because it cast the, 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 the Curse of Weakness, the weakness in the first. Um, but that didn't. Yeah? Yeah, I okay. got one. <laughs> All right. All right, that was Your awesome. turn! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's way cooler than just that power blasting your opponent. Way more awesome. Ooh, it's the new lackey. The plus two health and taunt lackey. Oh, yeah. Titanic lackey. I mean, yeah, this is, this is way cooler than just power blasting his face. This was awesome. No regrets. And look at, we have so many dragons in our hand, too. And the way to gain armor. Yeah, jeez. Hmm. <laughs> Is he just slow rolling us? Ah. Well uh, oh. Hmm. Uh. Uh. Incredible. Okay. Well, now, now, I'll, now, I'll power blast him. Right. I mean, he has a ton to him. How else can yeah, we get through we it? Yeah, we can't get through. We can't possibly make it through. So here we go. Boom. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> I like this deck a lot. Oh yeah. I mean, I, I, I have always loved the Thief Rogue style decks, and I, I really do think that the, the, the new quest is like a, a great addition. 
in terms of giving you, you know, like I was saying, that sort of sustainability to actually play board control. It's not necessarily game dominant in the same way that like the Spectral Cutlass can be sometimes. For sure. But it's also not vulnerable to removal, right? Like right. playing the Spectral Cutlass decks against like Weapons Project Harrison decks, it's like, oh God, I well, and it never want to do Well, it can come on early enough that you right. can actually fight for yeah, board exactly. and play defense exactly. with it. And in particular, you know, that, that new card, uh, let's, I guess let's just go to the collection and check it out. That gives you two spells for another class. It makes a big difference. Right, in terms of, of being able to get it online very quickly. It's also, it tends to come online in the games where you don't have a lot of tempo, mm -hmm. because it comes online in the games where you have a bunch of your generating right. spells. So the, the other games where it doesn't come online quickly, you have your actual minions and you're actually right. fighting. Yeah. And yeah, no, it's, it's definitely very cool. By the way, I gotta say, watching from the sidelines, I was like, please play Tess. Of course. Of course. Heaven, Do you know who I am? Like, <laughs> of course. <laughs> but in the back of my mind, I know Chalky is like potentially sniping, and like he knows we've had double pyro blasts the entire time, so it's like, ah, oh, what's gonna happen here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it was yeah. super good. Yeah. So yeah, I, th this card, by the way, which we didn't play, which I, I wanted to play. I, I, I think this card's actually, I see a lot of people saying that they don't, they don't think it's particularly good. I think this card seems pretty, pretty sweet to me. This card's pretty reasonable. Like, for a couple of reasons. One, when you're playing against uh, controlling decks, getting minions specifically, class minions, I I is often very powerful. Like, mm -hmm. when you're playing uh, a, a Thief Rogue style deck against, say, Warrior, right? Um, a, like, a 3-5 rush, it kills a, uh, it kills a uh, Clockwork Goblin, it mm -hmm. kills like a dynamatic with your dagger. It, it kills you know a, a bunch of things, mm -hmm. and getting you know getting a, a minion is going to be much more impactful, especially with tests later on usually than getting a spell. Absolutely. So the, the fact that it's guaranteed, it's a it's a decent sized body. It's often going to value trade with like a lot of three threes that exist in the in the format, and then you know, still give you that value for later on. Absolutely. And then we had mischief maker. It's also reasonable to shadow step too. It's a because it gives you yeah. both the value and you right. get the extra trade. Right. Yeah. And this card, this card's just interesting. Very, yeah, I was gonna ask, have you guys had any like cool stories with this card in particular of like, wow, well, this particular thing happened, like you gave away Zephyrus or, you know, some kind of random thing? Uh, I don't remember anything particularly crazy. I mean, you've t we've had games where you took the best card in your opponent's deck or like, you know, stole their Vicina or Bloodlust right. or whatever, and then, right. you know, 12 turns later it ended up mattering. Yep. Mm -hmm. I, we've also had games where the flip happened, where you gave them something right. insanely good. That's like, what I'm curious oh, about. Yeah. That's very, a, very interesting card. Yeah, it's a little bit Nomferatu against the decks that really care about their synergies. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Now, by the way, so I was informed that chat would really like to see Zephyrus played later on in a really <laughs> sticky situation with back against the wall, and then what the options are. Sure. So if we could do one more match with Mage All right. All right. against Chalky, that would be uh, uh, a request of Twitch chat. All right. Because we love you all at home. All so right. we're going to do one more match Fine. to show off Zephyrus. I'll play more Hearthstone. We, we I blame, love Zephyrus, so. We blame Kibler <laughs> a little bit for playing it a little early. <laughs> we're not going to point fingers, but yeah, we're going to do one more with the Mage, the Mage deck. deck. So. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. Cool. And I'll, just, it, I'll, just, I'll just like ping every turn for the, the, the whole sure. game. Sure. There you go. Save <laughs> me. <laughs> well, cool. We're going to get to the action. Let's do it. All right. Mage versus Druid. So I think this time we can just play the plan of run him out of resources. And just, just fatigue him out. Because they only have like a certain number of boards they can generate. And Zephyrus is pretty good at but they, but they have But they have the, the, the choose both. They do. But they've only got what? Like three or four boards that they make? We just have to clear them all. And we win. Hopefully. That's the dream. You. All right. That, that's the dream. Hello? Unless Hello. they discover a bunch of ways to do that. I wonder if he's going to quest coin again this time. Probably. It is pretty interesting. It's just like, that's... I think it's actually pretty reasonable. Yeah, well, it, it sort of depends on what point that you, you expect to be playing um, certain cards, right? Like, if you're, right. If you're looking to... Right. If you're a waste of surgery on five, then you really want to have finished it right. on four. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I, I do find like the the fact that this encourages you. Okay, just don't hear a power. Just, just don't do anything. Just, just say go. Yep. All right. Well, we have a, a, a thrill a minute game so far to get us to the, <laughs> the zephyr. One of the interesting things about this quest too is if you have a one drop, you can just play the one drop and then play the quest on two. Right. Yeah. And it doesn't hurt you because you weren't getting credit on right. one anyway. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> All right, all right, we've got this. We've got a plan. We've got a plan. We have a plan. Let's see how good our plan is. is he's that, got a plan too. He's just walking right into my plan. <laughs> <laughs> all right. 
Oh, All there right, he is. Here's Zephyrus. But we're going to wait. So if we Zephyrus here, we probably get uh, Alchemist. It would be pretty reasonable. I don't know what the other two options would be. Probably like High Main or something for next turn. Back there it is. Boom. Two, five, five. It would probably give you Alchemist in the silence spot. If you wanted silence, you should ping first sure. and then play Zephyrus. I think I'm going to Frost Nova Doomsday here before he can Starfall it. Yeah, that seems reasonable. The end is coming! Because he gets a seven, he can Starfall with both. Oh, right, no, Gar's yeah, Starfall. Yeah, what are you talking about? For some reason, I was thinking of the. Uh, uh, it's just less devastating yeah, if it happens somehow here. Somehow requiring extra mana. <laughs> It also just like uses, you know, isn't as big a board that he's actually generated into it, and we can kill it with this like next turn if we need to. Yep. Nourish. Oh, Nourish is so powerful. Nourish is so good here. Uh. Well, I'm just gonna play this. Divine Shield. Good. Wings of the sun. Fury, Divine Shield. All right. Yeah, this guy seems pretty sweet. A lot of, you know, lots of possible powerful options, like, even just like, you know, Rush, Rush Divine Shield, Rush Wind Fury, you know? Yep. Taunt Divine Shield. Like, whether you're ahead or behind, there's a lot of combinations that are pretty powerful. What he's, he's super interesting. He also counts as a battle cry minion for the mm -hmm. shaman quest yeah. and for uh, barista. For shutter walk. Shutter walk. He gives you shutter walk rush and divine shield. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, the shaman quest is one that I'm like really excited about. I love the shaman quest. Beach. That's pretty good against my divine shield. I really like the warlock quest. That's one of the ones that hasn't seen a lot of like discussion. Oh, I, I, I mean, I'm gonna play a, a lot of plot oh, twists with that. One of the big problems. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Choose all! Choose all! Choose all with Warlord Lodi! It's pretty good. Oh my god, that's awesome. Okay, that's fine. Well... Hmm. Good Zephyrus for pain, but that seems pretty bad. No, we're, 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 gonna, wait until we're, we're gonna wait until we're like really behind. That was what, the, right. what chat that's wanted what to chat see. That's what chat wants. We're gonna... We just Acolyte and ping. I don't know how much we care if he draws an extra card. Let's start with the mess of the area then. Hmm. See what we get. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Let's just play another messenger Raven. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Boom. Mage Man. Ooh. Ooh. We're close on Genelai. Yeah, we're actually not that far. Because we're going to ping anyway this turn, so there's only three left. All right, let's take a Genelai. I think Zephyrus can give you Faceless, too. So if we got Ragnaros to stick If there's just like a big thing, it'll give you Faceless, yeah. really? That's so cool. I'm just like, I'm so, I'm so curious about like the sort of like logic constructs or the yeah, algorithm or whatever behind it. The well, there's a lot of, uh, as the player, trying to figure out like, okay, let me make sure I play this right. Oh, God. Amazing. Dear. Hmm. Okay. We could trade in and set up a good Flame Strike. Well, this is a good time to be behind and play a Zephyrus. See if it gives us a flame strike. Yeah, you, you might want to set it up a little bit more by doing really? the two trade ins. But oh, will it will it not look necessarily that it will? But the more information you give it, the better it does. Okay. The thought process was this gives you more control as a player. All right, Zephyrus, I trust you. The perfect card. Come on, Zephyrus. Do like Ancient of War, flame strike, and crawl. Okay, pretty reasonable. You, you weren't you weren't lying. It's all right. <laughs> but a lot of Zephyrus. <laughs> all right. Brave Zephyrus. That was pretty good. Are you just Zephyrus? You're just <laughs> like, okay, I am the genie in the lamp. I should well, give you... Play Zephyrus like 500 times, and then <laughs> <laughs> you'll get a pretty good sense of what I'll give you in different situations. Fair enough. Fair enough. That was pretty good for us, I think. Yeah. We got through Floop. Yeah, and the Tending Tarn. Yep, the first Tending Tarn. Mm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. Fine. Hmm. It's fine. It's fine. Oh my god. Okay. Well. We have 
how that goes blizzard. That's at least something. Yeah. He still has, what, a... Summon a bunch of... Both halves of the second one of these, yep. and the, and the make summon a three half of this. Hmm. Well, yeah. That's the other option. Hmm. Sheep. We could, like, polymorph attack ping, play this, which also, like, gets this a little bit closer. Like crazy. Six, got nine on board. Yeah, okay. I like that. Let the pain speak to me. So I got eleven on board, not nine. What am I? I'm like, like counting their their health there. <laughs> I think they were four fours. So we're two away from our Jan Lai. The Earth oh, yeah. okay. is second half. All right. Okay. Yep. Hey, Zephyrus, we need him back. Come back to us, Zephyrus. Well, There's no Zephyrus in Hobart. What did we have? No idea. But I bet it was really good. Yeah, that would be. Uh -oh. I think we take Frostbolt here. Let's see. We cast the Blizzard. <laughs> get the Doomsayer, but I don't think we get the Frostbolt. Frost or the Frost the Nova. Blizzard. Yeah, I don't really recall exactly. Because we need, <laughs> we need something. We need a lot. If the, Mal if the Malachrist gets us like Frost Nova, that's really good. But I don't remember, I don't remember what all our opening hand was. I think, I, I think we might have had Frost Nova. Yes, we'll what, is, what does chat say? Does, does, does yeah, ch chat, help gotta, us. Yeah, chat, hello. <laughs> Did we have a Frost Nova? <laughs> <laughs> does Malachrist save attention. us? wasn't paying attention. We didn't have, we didn't have uh, Zephyrus. We definitely didn't. Ooh. We drew that turn one. Oh no. All right, so Flame Strike's still good. That's not that great. Did we have, uh, we, I, I, got, I, gotta, I gotta know. Did we have the, 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 the Frost Nova? I don't remember. I don't think so. I really don't remember what our opening hand was. Well, we don't have many options. <laughs> No. We gotta just hope that, that we were wrong. We could ping our acolyte or something. Yeah, we can run our acolyte in too. Yep. If we ping our acolyte, because we had we solved this. Okay, let's ping our acolyte first. Okay. Oh. Okay. 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 Well, that that makes life a lot easier. So we're gonna cast this here flame strike. Yep. And then oh, we have Seamot in our opening hand. Hmm? We had Seamont in our opening hand. Oh, did we? Okay. Apparently. So this is chat. Okay, well, we can, I mean, we can, we can clear the board. We can Frostbolt, Frostbolt. Oh, yeah, I think that seems pretty good. At least it's not jammed. Better than we were 30 seconds ago. Magic oh. draw I hope we don't draw our <laughs> We're only one off the Janelite, too. Right. But we're at 10. 18, sort of. Yeah. So. And we haven't fought through a real scenarios yet. Yeah, was that a discovered scenarios? Yeah. <laughs> Just from the shoot. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh. Drip out, right? so young. Oh. This isn't generating a board. Well. Oh! oh. Hello! That works. Well, I'm gonna play this. I think. Do we want to combo that with Dune Sculptor? Oh, we might. We might. Hmm. So we could ping and Janelai and just hope. Yeah, hmm. I feel like we probably just gonna play this. I feel like it's just. That keeps too us scary. less dead. Yeah. I mean, there's a question of do I just play Dune Sculptor now and make him like deal with it? We're gonna have some fun. We, we have the 
We have like a bunch of things to generate more value. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Yeah, okay. yeah. we kind of just have to find time to play like right. Malacras right. or Geppetto so or whatever. Force, force him to deal with this rather than just like spending all his mana developing. Yeah. Because we're through both Surgers now, and mm. both Tending Tarns. Right. There's still a leader of the pack, a um, make two raptor things in hand. Yep. Or not leader of the pack, whatever, summon a, a, a panther. Yeah. It's kind of funny to me that the name is literally summon. Good name. Mm -hmm. Tells you what it does. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that's good. All right. Um, All right. Hmm. How do I want to do this? Because I kind of... I want to play this, but... Um, well, do we want to just Voodoo Doll down the 6-6? Six, six? Yeah, probably. Okay. What to do? What to so, yeah. do? I guess, yeah. <laughs> it's silly in this order, but... Vexcrow. I wonder if we save the secret for Vexcrow turn. Um... Yeah, maybe. I can just kill one of these and get two more guys and then trade into the other. That's Ooh. good. Okay. Alright. Alright. Right. Okay. Vexcro, Cadgar. You Do you are thing. thinking small. <laughs> That's ready. You're right. We got we're there. Getting, we're getting a couple of Ragnaroses next turn. Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> And this is one of the reasons I love cards like Dune Sculptor, cards like uh, Messenger Raven. It's like, you know, these neither of these cards are in my deck. Wonder. And yeah, and yet, <laughs> here we are. It makes for a pretty good game. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll summon a Panther. It's fine. It doesn't kill us immediately. Uh oh, I don't like the swiping our face. It looks like a swipe to the face. I must oh, no, it's a keeper. keeper. Okay. All right. Ooh. I wonder if we leave something on board so we attack so we don't get double swiped. I mean, this is what we're doing. Yeah, for sure. We must bear the night for Dalaran. Spirit of the Pain, turn them to us. I don't think we're going to be That's going to be 16 face. Uh, oh, this is good. Yeah. Yeah, we got another thing. We got enough extra value. And then, yeah. <laughs> feel like we're all right. We're okay. <laughs> all right. Not a bad board. This is, this is the Reno Mage that I know and love, you know, just <laughs> doing ridiculous things. It's pretty fun. <laughs> Having Zephyrus for another like, yeah. AoE is so a big deal. Zephyr, Zephyrus seems like it's actually like a, a pretty, pretty key element to like these, these singleton decks because oftentimes, yeah, like what, what the, the problem is with your deck is like it's inconsistent. Right, right? exactly. You know, and you, it's like, okay, well this gives you, what do you need at any given point? It's not even this matter of like giving you card draw, right? It, it gives you like specifically the ability to have the tool that you need when you need. Yes, it is much better than Discover a card. Yeah. When we first put it in, we weren't sure, like, is this just add a resource to your hand? And the answer is mm -hmm. no, it's oh, no. so much better than that. Hey, it was pretty funny to me. You were like, okay, this is going to give you either. Uh, what was it? Uh, uh, Ancient of Lore. Or Ancient, Ancient of War. Rather, and, uh, and the, 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 the Flame Strike. Yeah. Like, oh, exactly those. Like, you, you know your stuff. <laughs> I mean, you play okay. Zephyrus enough, yeah. you get to. All you right, get to well. Um, do we trust Ragnaros? Let's see what we can get off of this. What to do? Because we get like just do. any sort of damaging spell. We have this Celestial Emissary. Ooh. Oh, Conjure's Calling. Okay. We have Conjure's Calling plus I mean, Cadgar. Yeah. I mean, I can almost Conjure's Calling his Doomsayer too, if I really want to. To okay. like. This is like melting my brain right now. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what I want to do. There's too many things. So maybe trade what to do? Reno in. What to do? Magic. Conjure's calling our Ragnaros. Then trade Cadgar in, and Conjure's calling his Doomsayer. Okay. I think so. Ooh, well, that's pretty reasonable. Oh no 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 no
Okay, sure. Kill that. Great. Get it. I can't pick nice. another thing. We this, did it. We this did mouse it. is very slow. It doesn't really move as fast <laughs> yeah, as I need it to. Yeah, it's the mouse. It's the mouse, Brian. Listen, man. <laughs> eh. Like, <laughs> This is looking okay. I mean, we have two more calicos in hand. <laughs> Just in case. Well played. Well played. He drew the double swipe. That's funny. You already swiped us before. Oh, you're right. B. Well, then we're not dead. You're not dead. He's not dead either. Oh no, he's dead. He didn't have any minions left. Roar. Yeah, they're buffing each other. Clearly the key. We'll let, we'll let Ragnaros show his job. Well done, Ragnaros. Boom. So yeah, that was. That what was, a match. That was pretty sweet. That was pretty <laughs> what sweet. What a match. That was pretty good. <laughs> the Cad the Cad Guard of the Genoli was dead. Cad Guard Genoli, not too bad. Yeah, not, not too, too bad. bad. Double Ragnaros, <laughs> you know. It's okay. Not too shabby. You get to see Zephyrus in a different situation. That's that was right. Just yeah. yeah. three cards. Just for you. We hope you're happy. Absolutely. We really are setting a terrible precedent bending the demands of Twitch chat, but I'm glad you yeah. enjoyed it. Granted, it is a brand new card that had a really cool mechanic yeah. that had taken yeah, yeah, yeah. years to develop, so, you know, at the same time, hey, I think we hey. can, yeah, I think we can bend a little bit here. So, hey, cool. thoughts? Thing is dangerous. Thoughts? Lots of cards. Yeah. Over 29, actually, because it, it was Ancestral Guardian. Was that the other one that we saw that wasn't revealed? I don't know. I, okay, I believe it was, but yes. But no, yeah, I mean, there's just a lot of really cool stuff in there. I, I, I re Like, Zephyrus is super cool. Like, that's, Zephyrus you know, fun. one of the coolest cards, if not, like, just the coolest card that, that you know, I think exists in Hearthstone, let alone right. in this set. It's my personal favorite. Yeah. Uh, just, you know, the, the flexibility of that, like, you know, it's the sort of thing that, that A, is going to take a lot of like figuring out. Okay, what can I expect to get in any given set of set of circumstances? And then obviously, like you know, well, what does that mean for when it's best for me to play it? Yep. For like you know, in not only any individual like matchup, but any individual game, like how it's playing out. For sure. Um, super super cool. Yeah. It took us a bunch of learning, like dozens of games before you're like, okay, right. I kind of understand where I'm supposed to play it and when, and mm -hmm. then hundreds of games before you're like, okay, I know what Zephyrus is going to give me. I look at this board, I know exactly what the cards yeah. are going to be. Right. Now I'm curious. You got theory crafting tomorrow. Is there any archetype that you're like, dude, this is the way to go? Like, this is this is what I am pigeonholing myself on. Maybe not pigeonholing, but that I am going to build, and it's going to be top of the meta. What's your first deck? Yeah, probably, there you it's go. probably it's a better way of asking. Not that necessarily question. that it's that it's. I think it's going to be like you know top tier or whatever. But I, I really want to play plot twist warlock with the quest. That deck like, is super fun. Like the the amount of stuff going on there that I think is is really interesting. I've been loving playing the plot twist deck already. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the big things that you run into is late in the game. You're like, oh, I have too many expensive cards, and it's it's really awkward to like play things out. For sure, the quest exactly mitigates that. Like, you you don't have to worry about like losing life to play your stuff because you know you upgrade your hero power, and then yeah, it's like okay, I have all these six drops in my deck that I want to hit off of my plot twists with Dor uh, Dollmaster Dory and whatnot, and now they cost zero. Yep, and that's fantastic. It right. gives Rafam a chance to shine too. Mm -hmm. it, once your deck is all oh, expensive yeah. legendaries, it's pretty good to draw them yeah. and have them cost zero. Yeah, Rafam. Well, gentlemen, we're at the end of this stream. Did you have any closing thoughts, comments, information you'd like to share? Nah, I, I love this set. I think it's incredibly fun. I really like Quest, and I really like the Singleton decks, mostly because I really like Zephyrs. But uh, I, I like Zephyrs Finley, too. Is Finley's also really fun. But uh, there's a lot of really great stuff going on on the set, and I hope, I hope everybody out there enjoys it as much as we did. Yeah, this is the most excited that I've been for a set release in a long time. Like, That's there's cool. You know, there's just so many cool things that, that, that like the quests, the, the the singleton things are both like the like support the style of play that that I personally enjoy, mm -hmm. which is like you know trying to play like a bit more sort of varied of a game and, and like you know longer sort of interactive games, um, and there's just I, I have, there's so many different things I want to try, right? It's not like oh well like I can build you know like w whatever quest rogue means is very different, right? You can yep. build it in, in a bunch of different ways, and and I think that that's super exciting. Awesome. Well, cool, man. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, for the folks at home, again, we've got Theory Crafting live streams hitting tomorrow. If you want to see more uh, Zephyrus plays, tune in. Starts at 9 a.m. Could be some meme decks, could be some meta decks. I don't know. We'll find out. 
But uh, yeah, so we have that, and then we have pre-release weekend hitting on Friday, August 2nd. So tune into a pre-release near you, or you can actually spin one up at your household, invite some friends over, uh, open up your packs, and play with the cards from those packs that you got. Uh, so stay tuned. Savers of Old Doom drops August 6th, coming in just a couple days. So uh, thanks so much for tuning in. On behalf of the Hearthstone team, we love you all, and we'll see you next time.